But uh, yeah, we got players from uh, the UK today, England, Ireland. We got players from France, Germany, uh, sideways France. All right, here we go, though. So rare to see two Arthurs on the screen at the same time here. This could be uh, Doppel Ghost. Only two players from England could make this kind of stuff happen. I believe this is Doppel Ghost here on the right with the Thor and the Arthur. Yeah, you're right. Doppel Ghost is on the right. Okay. Get the charge in. Doesn't get too much else for, but the zoning game working out pretty well here. To stop things out. You get that first hit and is able to execute. Okay. Gonna go for the super. He's gonna be able to put on the armor here and look at the slow fall. Check the tech. Absolutely gets that extra extension. Look at the damage off of this. And Arthur's gonna be able to get the clean kill and potentially just escape here. He's gonna opt into the mirror match. He said a knight never falters. He's got to fight. Right, I'm gonna tell you right now, there is not an Arthur in the U.S. that compares to these European Arthurs, bro. Especially Doppel Ghost. Big fan. Big fan. Okay, that is gonna run through. Very nice stuff here. It's gonna spin the X Factor just to continue. Make sure you get the kill. Oh, okay. On the dive, we couldn't get it confirmed, and Thor was able to get the dash in. Very nice stuff. I like that empty dash low, knowing he wasn't going to land an overhead on Arthur. The short King, shout out to the Short Kings out there. All my homies under 5'5. Five five. Living legend coming through with the resubscription. 30 months for the homie. Good to see you, dude. Yo, shout outs to one of the best out there. See, the thing about Arthur is that he's actually this is what the interpretation of what women think five foot nine looks like <laughs> oh my god not gonna be able to get the full kill there obviously thor the most health in the game so it's a little difficult for some characters to get the touch to kill him yo set that back up again gets the armor gets the slow fall and arthur interesting uh one of the one of the only characters oh in the look game. at that um it's not unblockable, but damn, that shit was sick. Yeah, one of the only characters in the game that actually builds meter while he's transformed. Oh, he's building some meter right now the hard way. Right, look at the durability on my man's projectiles. He went right through that pillar like it didn't even matter. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, missed that flight down though. The backwards court circle L to get to the ground. Instead, he's gonna get comboed out, but not gonna get the finish. Oh, and another clean confirm on Thor, but again misses the S. Yeah, he's missing the thing upstairs for sure. Oh, he's running right through Thor though. Wow, closed the gap pretty well here. He's gonna go for Luminous Body and finds the overhead. No unblockable setup here against Taskmaster. <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway, whatever. Oh, it tags in to be able to get the swap with the armor break, smart stuff. Yeah, that's actually really good timing there. Really good strategy. This is, we're playing darker and darker right now. If you know, you know. <laughs> These three guys really out here. That's going to be the kill, though. And the thing upstairs still has X Factor on deck. Double Ghost brings out the helper here, but I mean, with the X Factor here, I don't know. It's going to be a close one. Uh, no longer a close one. Yeah, should be able to finish that one up. Easy with the super. Double Ghost takes another one. That thing upstairs really was dominating there, but uh, I mean, just takes one mistake, right? That's why we love this game. Most of the hits so far from Doppelgoes have been the mighty charge straight forward, <laughs> just frame trapping or something. I like the zoning here from Doppelgoes. The neutral game, oh my goodness, the cross up overhead. We don't know if it really crossed. That's a 50 50 overhead. Ooh, yes. 
Oh, and knowing he doesn't have an air dash there, tries to go for the reset and does make it happen. We taunting for meter out here? He said, Use my words, evildoer. I used to know the speech bound out no more. Seems kind of racist to me. I don't know. <laughs> How much damage that is before he even gets to the super. I mean, it's not unblockable, but uh, it's close enough. I know. Both. Oh, misses the follow up, though. That would have been sick. in his body just to get that extra movement, but it doesn't matter. All right, he's got to watch his armor here. It could break at any moment. Ooh, does get into the DP infinite, though. Oh, and perfectly goes into the super as X-Factor runs out, and he pops at the right time. Now he's actually playing with the advantage here a little bit, other than he ain't got no clothes on. He's going to position himself if he can to throw that fire bottle to get the OTG when the armor breaks. Oh, he's not going to get a chance to. Dude, and he gets to end it out straight away, still in the full armor. Good. Right, so this is going to be a little, uh, little Hulk action here. He's off against Nova. This is definitely a weird matchup uh, for Nova. <laughs> he can have some problems, but so far, no problems. Yeah, UK boys love their Hulk, though, you know? Oh, going for it. <laughs> Would have landed a second reset if he was able to convert. Oh, he said the Gamma Wave is going to break up the attempt to go for Rocket Punch, but he still finds a throw, and this time should be an easy kill. Oh, the wrong super, but you know, it still works out because the hit stun was so little, so early in the combo. Oh, and the Crouch Medium finds its way. X Factor already? Okay. I can deal. Yeah, get those drones out of the way. Definitely a good call. Get your tag back in for your mix-up. But you know what that means. This sets up for a, a, a Hagar come. Oh, the raw launcher to start. That is completely safe, by the way. It's even on block. There's, oh, there we go. Popping the Larry. This is what you can do when you're able to react. Play on your own local server. All right, two mix-ups to go here in the corner. Going for the tried and true, the violent axe incoming. Doesn't work out, but Pipe does. Caught Reed trying to backdash. Might have been a missed push block. Okay, just dash under Lariat. I dig it, I dig it. Oh, standing heavy. Got to be careful about how you throw that out here. Pipe will trade, and that's a trade you do not want to see. I'm starting to see the trend here. Everybody here likes to... Oh, there we go. The explosion actually catches him off guard. And the pipe caught him trying to dash out of there. All right, you're going to need one more hit, though. Oh, there we go. Back dash, meaty, crouch light. Caught me trying to get out. And let him know. <laughs> A couple spins for the fans. I told you, man. You pop that X Factor, let Hagar come out with X. You're, you're setting yourself up, bro. Ooh, try to go for a guard break there a little late. Gets thrown in return. Reach out here, reaching. Find the TAC, though. How far can you push it is the question. Almost gets there with the infinite. Unfortunately drops. Does have an opportunity for mix-up, but not quite going to work out here. As Virgil takes a grip of damage for that. Got to be a little more careful about how you call that assist. And again, he's going to potentially lose two for that. Yeah, he's going to cash out all of the meter just to make sure Nova dies for it. The X Factor pops here. Uh, yeah, DHC and Virgil is definitely the best play you can get. He is going to get the kill on hold. And just barely finds the touch there on Sentinel. Super does extra damage on him because he is a large body. He takes even more hits from it. That's just going to kill him with a simple confirm. And you cannot disrespect the mayor like that. Dashing up a little too aggressively. It's a lariat and a pipe for your troubles here. Oh, he gets caught in his movement. Dude. <laughs> he goes meaty lariat to 
try and chip him. Oh my god, Ashley Schaefer. You gotta be a little more careful. This guy's a wild card, dude. Got that connection again, though. Reach has so consistently found these first touches. Mm, okay, finds it with the crouching light. That's definitely one of the Nova struggles, is if you do not play Spencer, your damage is so limited and you really have to find infinite. Butter gun for lockdown, sets up the pulse. I do like pulse assist. It's just unfortunate to use your red health sometimes for uh, when Nova comes in, he won't have any stock for himself. Tried to maintain pressure, but overextends a little bit. Wouldn't be surprised to see an X, but unfortunately, hard drive does not work out. She gets a second attempt, and it does this time, but he's not going to X factor. Oh, I see, and now not having not popped the X Factor, Hagar's gonna come in, lose all of this red life, and he's gonna X Factor defensively very soon, because Chip is gonna be a factor. He didn't get the opportunity. Reach has been doing well this set, but this is the first time actually able to close it out. Closing out matches is an important ability to have. Oh my god, dash up lights like that. That's how you close out games. Hey, you don't have to close it out. He's getting opened up. See early. I like that TAC too. Get that a little bit extra meter, steal away from Reach, and then catch him with the one true mix-up. Oh, that's an Evo winning mix-up right there. Unfortunately, he'd already used his ground bounce there. Couldn't get the knockdown the way he wanted to. Now, as often as I do it, though, I'm not a big fan of players, Hulk players going for that command throw so often, you know? It's very, very dangerous. I was able to actually catch Virgil. Didn't pop the X to convert it, though. Okay, Magneto. That box jump so strong. Here we go, check the round trip. Up backs everything. Great defense, but can't stop it forever. The box jump comes through again. Oh my goodness. And has to go for the super early. Really good, really good adjustment there. Oh, but he dashes right back into the Lariat. And this is going to be all over for Reach. Captain Joe, aka Ashley Schaefer, BMW, able to pull it out here. This Hagar is doing mad work. I think you missed a plank. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. sucks. <laughs> Here in the U.S. recently has been uh, putting in work for shout the homie Living Legend, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Polly asked, where are the uh, EU Ryu players? Homie, is this this is Europe. We ain't got we ain't got the Ryu players. We got Hagar. Hagar is the Ryu of Europe. Ryu of Europe. <laughs> Stows the Piper Tree. I don't get Oh my god, dude. That's Mr. E cashing out though. DHC does come through. That is a crazy Spencer skin, by the way. I love that. Zip, I, zip I know who this is. <laughs> I know we whiffing buttons like crazy, zipping right into the loving arms of Hagar. Fight for your troubles here, has four bars. Yo, Fruity Jesus coming through with the gifts up for Lariat guy. Big shout out to the homie Fruity Jesus. Yo, Hagar is doing all the work. This is going to be an all Hagar tournament, bro. Oh, my God. Especially if we're going to see some mixes like that. Are we going to go for the reset? Absolutely we are. Why not? Why not? What can Hagar do about it? But he has the meter to kill, too. He said it's about sending a message. I just want to know how Spartan Throne is one of the best players out there in Europe. And he's got to play against all these Hagars all the time. <laughs> That's true, actually. Larian is uh, kind of a headache. That's Benkill locking out the first one. Tails Mr. E taking a second for himself. He said, I need my Nova. There we go. There we go. For Jesus, if you're inspired to play Hagar, man, I've never seen a Wolverine Hagar team. That would be sick. Incoming mix-ups would be broken. 
And then we're going to play, uh, you know, the Code Steve, but a little bit of a switch up of the order here. Wants to keep the Spencer for anchor. Yeah, I mean, Spencer is definitely Mr. E's best character. I don't know the way Ben Kill was playing. Never mind. Never mind, actually. I never even seen Ben Kill play. You get body right now. You get Coach Steve right now. I'm sorry, this is this is the Europe tournament. Manager Steve. <laughs> oh my god. Nice block on that one. Gets the overhead and follows it up with a second overhead. He said, I know you're not gonna block either of them. <laughs> he said, this is, oh no, what else is um? Oh my god, I swear to god, Lariat is unblockable. Okay, that's just barely gonna reach. And it's gonna get the DHC here. Oh, and that ice grenade OTG, so smart. That was so smart to be able to go for the side switch there. Doesn't have X-Factor to confirm that though. Oh, and grapple into Jawbreaker, so sick. Oh, big shout out to the homie Brass Sandwich coming through with the sub, thank you so much. Akuma being able to finish this one off. Super into super. He can throw himself the alley-oop. Oh, and that's going to be close. Oh, he could have just he could have just done it right there. Why? Arms aren't bionic in the UK. What's going on? Oh, it's going to chip him. Oh, once again. Trying to zip up. Agar said no, bro. So who's the one getting zipped up? Yeah, he said, hey, thanks for coming all the way out here. <laughs> I didn't want to have to chase you down. Mr. E takes the second for himself here. Ben still looking really good. Chris Redfield really hasn't gotten to play the game yet, but uh, Hagar and Akuma have been putting in the overtime. This, this is the Germany Ben Stiller. Ben Killer. Oh, there we go. One big whiff there allows Ben Kill the opportunity. Okay. DC more than enough here. That body splash. No, not quite. <laughs> oh, he just dashed up and spun, man. He had no other plans. Oh. Oh, he tried to jump and throw. He tried to throw it. The uh, jumping light. He got it, though. He got it. Mr. E right here with enough meter. Agar had low enough health. Oh, we're not just going to level three. We're going to make this complicated. Complicated will do it. Oh, cross up comes through. Easy peasy. He's able to go into maneuvers. Milk this for everything he can here. Has another bar. It's just going to set up for mix. Oh, hits the overhead. Doesn't convert it, though. Didn't believe. Okay, that works out. Beam actually does kill. Mr. E looking good right now. Oh, and gets the side switch, but not able to convert. It's a great jump forward, but he goes for the overhead again. This time able to convert for sure, but not able to get the drop there. All right, we still close it up though. A little sloppy, but we're cleaning it up. This is the UK Spencer way. He is slinging overhead. All good, it's all good. I like what I'm seeing here. The confidence is appreciated. Ben recognized he wasn't going to get a full combo from that distance. Just takes what he can get with the Magnum and is able to get the OTG with the Molotov. Yo, big shot for the homie Shatterpoint coming through on a Saturday. Paul launcher to beat out the Butter Gun. Oh my god! What a block! What a mix! What a block! And Ben killed to get the launcher. Wow. Crazy stuff back and forth between the two, and then he punches boulders. Christopher Redfield, the commander. 
That should be enough here. He's gonna go straight into level three and he's gonna be able to finish. Ben Kill is gonna get it three to one. Man, <laughs> that was, that doom to Chris sequence was Looney Tunes. <laughs> All right, Let's see how it looks though. Makes an off against Deadpool here from Plasma. We're not gonna connect, but it's okay, it's safe. A couple good push blocks in a row to be able to save himself some of the pressure here. Oh, for the most part, did a good job of escaping Wolverine, but you just can't get away from this guy from ever. Eventually, you got to start up your own offense. You know, I realize now, after Spartan Throne has played on the U.S. servers for so long, he's doing everything a little too early. <laughs> he's a little too fast. He's not used to this. Uh, so I, I mean, that's the joke, but he's used to playing mail and oh chess. Oh, my God. Did you see that overhead drill claw in the dive kick conversion? My dude's a real Wolverine. Are we sure he's from the UK? This dude's Canadian for sure. This dude is the real Wolverine. Oh, nice stand up there to get the block. That was a full happy birthday, but didn't believe, but still is able to get the hit on Wolverine. Overhead cross up, because you know, that's normal. That happens in other fighting games. I mean, the blink and you miss it uh, cross up there from Wolverine, too. Wow, what a press there. Tell me, out of all these characters, the one that killed Wolverine is Dante? The worst matchup? X, because he saw that Iron Fist assist coming, but it's not going to be able to save him completely here. Not close enough to get the OTG. how you utilize this DT has plenty of meter. Not gonna get to spend anything. <laughs> so a nice finish there from Sparty. Dormammu, kind of an asshole. Also <laughs> During the lockdown of the dark hole there, was trying to find the instant overhead. Couldn't quite get there though. Still is able to get the cross underneath to get the hit. Spark throw moves so fast here. I mean, Wolverine already a fast character, but for some reason he just does it better. Oh, he's being a little bit more careful here, knowing Taskmaster has that shield skill. That back H option select. Throw though and is able to get conversion to the full combo. Might end up having to go for a level three to make sure it kills here. Now we're gonna go for the snap, bring in Dante. So he don't want to see no jam session. Yeah. Oh my God, what a crazy anti-air confirm. My dude is moving right now. He knows exactly what to do in every situation. He's ready to win an Evo. Chai Daddy coming through with the raid. Thank you so much. Oh, just continue to check low. Unfortunately, that was auto blocked there on the cross up. Trying to go for the cross up best. Five more girls playing some solid neutral until he did that. Oh, it just gets caught by empty jump, dark hole. Sometimes nothing is best. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know which side that hit on there. I mean, Wolverine was just kind of walking below. Then you have to spend the meter either. Nice stuff again from Sparty. Two in a row now. Yeah, only getting more dominant as these games going on. Let's see if Plasma Ghost decides to switch. Put Dante in second. I can dig it. Okay, a little Tatsu action. And the default skin, he said all these colors, not color one. Right, I'm a color one guy for life, all right? No hate on color one. Oh my goodness, couldn't moonwalk away from that one. Snatched up by Wolverine. I hope the Sakuma makes a difference because the Zedpool won't. 
snap. Someone's going to have to block an incoming, and he's not going to have a chance here. I mean, all he really has is Demon Flip to get out of that, but if you time the Iron Fist assist right, he doesn't even have an opportunity. Yeah, he just got to hold that. Found that throw, tries to reset. Some of the matches are off stream, like the losers round one matches are off stream and the winners round one matches are off stream. But we're trying to get more matches on here as players make it. Oh, dude, and off the happy birthday is going to very easily be able to finish both. That's going to be Sparty with the double stalking flare. He said the power of the sun. Indeed, sees through. You know, we love to see a, an, an Iron Fist win quote. Oh, though, that's going to be all right. So we got a little Modoc action. Modoc with Morgan, something we're familiar here with in the States. Shouts to Mothman. Barely, though, barely. Uh, Meister Jaeger, he's looking a little uh, familiar with this matchup, too. Yeah, playing that Captain America here. This seems a little unpatriotic, if you ask me. I don't know. I couldn't mod no Germany colors in. Say <laughs> log trap with Captain, also a shell that we see uh, a little bit here and there. Shout out to Jesse. Obviously, this is a, a really fun team with some really good mix up. I just love the character variety here. Even with Morgan on this team, we're talking about the Modoc Morgan. You know what I mean? That's a little more interesting, a little more exciting. Uh, that's what I love about other scenes is they have different metas than us, you know? Get that tag into Cap. Cap obviously pretty explosive here. Can just ignore some Soul Fist and go straight through whenever he wants to, but it's risky. Almost had stuff to the point where he has the meter. Log Trap actually trades. He gets an opportunity. But Morgan manages to, to escape. Oh, and he's just going to spend to kill Dr. Doom. I think that's really smart. Oh, but the fireballs juggle Captain America to death here. Raccoon coming out less than half health, eating shell kick. Oh, but we ran out of fireballs? She didn't reload? <laughs> Oh, missed the opportunity for the extension of the combo, but doesn't miss the opportunity for the instant overhead. That's what we like to see here. If you guys like the character variety, by the way, that you're seeing here today, definitely check out the homie SFO Ghost. Hosts a lot of uh, Marvel tournaments over there in the uh, in the UK area, so definitely definitely go watch them. I think they uh, they stream it on Twitch and they post it on YouTube, so definitely worth a watch. Go check it out. There it is. Sparty posts the link. Come through, take the kill though. Mo Modok, not long for this world. Just drop the trap, look for the swap. No, he's going to leave in Raccoon. Rocket able to find the throw keeper in the corner, but missed the TK Spitfire. It was a little too low. He said the execution was too good. Nice, gotta do your best thread the needle. See if you can find that charging star when you can, but for now, the most important thing is just making sure she doesn't build as much meter as she can. Oh, she's building some meter right now. Oh, <laughs> extra shadow blade, just for good measure. Raccoon, once he builds up the third bar, oh no, he's gonna take all this damage from the extra soul fist, but he does have access to level three that he's not gonna get to use. Tough here. Hawkeye obviously has a gimlet and a dream. Oh, yeah, perfectly timed there. Knox knew exactly what to look for. Getting Hawkeye to waste all this meter. The problem is, though, even with that, the chip is adding up here. And if Knox loses more again, oh, gets hit by a triple arrow, has to bring in Dr. Doom. And you already know how bad this matchup is. I don't care what side of the ocean you play on. This matchup sucks. Or not. Or not. Maybe it's different over there. For who? <laughs> 
<laughs> They're on a different path. Yeah, sheesh. <laughs> I forgot, this is the European version of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah, being able to finish that up so strong as the homie Jetman comes through. Jetman, man, appreciate you. Yeah, big shout out to the homie Jetman. Thank you so much for being with us. Say in Europe, in Europe, Doom wins that matchup, bro. It's 8 2 Doom. By the TAC. Gonna look for the infinite here. Very nice. Not quite gonna be able to complete it, but still gets a good amount of damage and has a lot of meter now. You know, I think it actually does make sense that uh, Doom would win the matchup in Europe because uh, isn't lot Varia in Europe, fictionally? I think so. Good enough reason for me, Paul. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I just make stuff, I just make stuff up, man. I said it yesterday. If you say it with enough confidence, they will believe you. Everybody just assumes I'm right. <laughs> hey, me too. Got the chip. Rocket not long for this world here. Cap gonna have to come in, do some heavy lifting. But unfortunately, he's not gonna say he's gonna lift anything. Yeah, yeah. Look, I know chips mean something else in the UK, but it still hurts, damn it. In level three, gonna connect. Very nice to take the kill. Is it chip damage in the UK or is it French fry damage? Uh. <laughs> what was that squeal? <laughs> I just can't do it, dude. Crisp damage. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. Crisp damage for sure. Sonic, but we got a game plan, and it involves a laser. <laughs> Doing a good job so far, just keeping Cap off his toes. Oh, but the lock trap. Oh, not able to convert, though. That launcher was almost there. Oh, that was tricky. Nice defense there from Knox. Yeah, yeah. Great use of the double jump from Meister to uh, try to mix him up. But Knox defense is strong. Oh, we've blown it all up here. And I don't think Morgan had a chance to unfly because Doom was getting hit, and I think it ate Morgan's input. Oh, look for the double roll. Couldn't find the air to air either, but gets a good amount of damage on Modok and is going to kill Morgan. Hell of a comeback here from Knox, but we're not going to get to see it. That's going to be Meister. Oh, even it up. Game five. And he's that balloon bomb stall himself in the air. Very smart stuff. One of the hallmarks of a good Modoc player. Just knowing when to play as lame as possible. Just time these situations out. Now, same, same situation as before. Got a good amount of damage but couldn't complete the infinite and Captain America says, I'm about to show you my infinite. So a little bit of drop combos back and forth here. Rocket Raccoon is able to pick it up though. Should be able to finish with just super, super. Keep it simple. Oh my god. And the lockdown is just unbelievable. Uh, Nox, Nox not getting a chance to even push a button here. Every time he does, he gets stuff. Trying to throw for a punish, but unfortunately forgot about Raccoon. The little gifts he left behind. Oh, he reacts to the X-Factor with the roll! Oh my god, Meister Jaeger, DHC to kill, rock and roll indeed. Fancy, that is part of why it's so exciting to get to see the UK play. We got time to react. Yeah, I mean, well, this was Germany, though. That was Germany. Counts. Germany, not UK, bruh. Are you okay? Still counts. It's not UK. <laughs> All right, let's see it, though. We're going to have the Tron here in the full, uh, Okay, the full serve bot robot. We like that. Now, technically, England is a part of the UK, right? 
We just put the flags on whatever people pick for themselves. So I don't know. I don't know geography, bro. I don't gotta like that. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, commits big time there. Goes for the late layering. Gets punished with a jab. Reach is looking very strong here. The renewed vigor. Okay. Just gonna go rocks. Yeah, no need to go for another rep. Very smart. Yeah, I mean, Reach already had to play Ashley Schaefer BMW and that whole team earlier, so I'm sure he's sick of playing big bodies at this point. It's Hawkeye with a chance here. Mashing those lows out. Definitely the best thing to do in that situation. Very simple on the combo as well. Oh, no, he wanted the throw. You could see it. Oh, but we landed. Ooh, ended up in a mix-up instead. He's going to have to be, oh, I was going to say he's going to have to be careful, but throw caution to the wind. Yeah, definitely post the link to the EU Discord server. Anybody that wants to, you know, that's in the EU that wants to play Marble, definitely, uh, definitely check that link out. Find that first hit again on Tron. And just dash back with Farisa. Yeah, a, a lot of like advanced longer Nova combos are weirder or just don't work on Tron because of that odd body shape. She's very hard to combo with him. There you go, not even going for the flight, keeping it as simple as possible. And is able to catch the low. Hagar not going to get an opportunity here. Doesn't even get a Lariat in. Oh, does actually get a Lariat in. My bad. Not going to go for the swi side swap, though. It's just going to keep it to the mid screen here. Has plenty of meter to be able to kill. Tries to go for the reset, though, in the mid screen. Had one more loop to go. Oh, once again, <laughs> the European version of Marvel do win in the matchup against Hawkeye. He had pressed heavy with his whole chest. So that almost was a Merry Christmas. <laughs> he was coming in with the drop kick. <laughs> it was almost active. Oh, and the arms were still swinging. Okay. Canceling that late heavy in the drill is pretty good, but again, that weird body in addition to the Doom Beam, which are a little too far for the combo. Having Tron and Hagar on your team would have been a sick team in Vanilla Marvel. Having two invincible assists. And then whatever you want on point. Yeah, I miss, I miss old Gustav Fire. Neat little cross up there. Didn't have an assist to back it up, though. Uh, T for dinner. Can't be, can't be afraid to pull the trigger here on some lariats. They're definitely doing them, but just a little bit late. Little hesitation. Oh, like right there. You could potentially go for it for the anti-air, but I was already jumping to try and go meet him up in the air. Kill, set it up for one more. Javelin comes through. And that is going to be Hawkeye going down right away. Good mix from Reach there. Keeps it meaty. All those meters to spend are going to be more than enough to take the kill here. That is going to be Reach taking down the set. Deeper than her, though. A good effort and uh, honestly probably a good way to lose some weight. Maybe I need to get on that. Yeah, I'm going to have to eat for dinner now. I'm inspired. The winners here, we're going to get into Spartan Throne versus Catboy Friender. We know that's not your real name, there, but it's Catboy. <laughs> Clip that out of YouTube, please. There we go. Found the throw straight away for Sparty. 
Obviously the most important piece of the puzzle here when you see Morgan on the screen is certainly her, so whatever it takes to get this one down. Oh, he ends up getting both there off the Iron Fist assist, but too much hit stun still gets Morgan though. Spartan Throne knew exactly what to do there and put him in a self, put himself in a position to attack the point character again. And the big punish on the whiff launcher. Yeah, having X Factor for the first half of that combo also really helps because now it's going to be less expensive to actually take the kill here. Where's the where's the flag for uh, Catboy Friender? Got the jump loop, didn't fully confirm it though. X Factor comes out. Oh, and Iron Fist answers. Player two wins. Get out of here. We're done. <laughs> Chat said, what's the country flag for Catboy? First game locked it down though. Good stuff for Sparty. I said Welsh. Right, I'll say Welsh in the chat like I know what that means. Is actually going to X and go for the carpet to kill. Okay, Wales. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll have production fix that up. Matter didn't make it work. Gets to confirm the multi hit of the carpet against the standing opponent makes it last. Nah, I don't think that's it, homie. Oh, it's gonna go for the optimal, optimal here in the corner. The multiple drill claws. Look, Doppel Ghost. As far as I know, Welsh's make that uh, really good cranberry juice. Is it Welsh's cranberry juice? Fruit juice? I can't. Oh, that's Welsh. That's not the same thing. I thought we got our juice from Europe. I didn't know. Oh, mistimed is meaty. That's an easy throw from Sparty. You know, <laughs> at the rate this match is going, maybe Cat Friender doesn't want a flag, you know? Oh, uh, dude. Friender of Cat Boys not looking so good in this so far. Two games to Sparty. It's just been all about killing Morgan first, and it's just snowballed out of control from there. Glass said <laughs> he needs a white flag for <laughs> surrender. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dude, come on, man. <laughs> Just put a picture of a cat on there for me, please. <laughs> Alright. We have to have a whale's flag somewhere. Production. I wanna believe. Got just, the throw. Just UK? Is Wales a part of the UK? I don't know. It's okay with is it, if it's okay with y'all, it's UK for me, you know? It's, for now. Alright, we'll just leave it we'll just leave it at that. Nice movement though from Catboy. Gotta let those missiles do the work for you whenever you can. Yeah, I hope y'all didn't come to this Marvel stream for uh, geography lessons and geopolitical stuff, because I, I don't got it. I'm not a geo guesser expert. Hey, catches the low though. Oh, had the Meteor incoming. Try to go back and apply some pressure with this time and get a throw in again. It's all right, though. Catboy Friender has one more chance here. If he can land a clean hit here. Oh, that's not going to be clean. Burn to ash. Just going to keep it going. Just trying to lay down as much chip as possible. Keep in control. Finds a throw. That's going to be a level three. Once again, Doom struggling to Dormammu, as always in this matchup. And the Inferno, that does so much damage on an OTG. Party locks that one down. Good stuff. 
All right, we got Ashley Schaefer, BMW, on the left side. Dima Phoenix having the Shuma. Shuma Laser is an interesting pick here for Morgan. Obviously, he's able to clear an, an immense amount of the screen here. Stop characters from kind of just trying to hang out at that 45. Not like Hulk is going to be able to get up there and do that, though. Yeah, I mean, he super jumps round of applause, stays up there for a little bit, but not long enough. Oh, missed his gamma wave there. Actually couldn't get the combo. You don't get a lot of shots as Hulk in this matchup here. you got to make them count. Same thing for Hagar. Not going to get a lot of opportunities. Really just have to swing the pipe when you get the opportunity. Try and find a hard knockdown trade is the best you'll usually get. Or you can use the Hagar teleport with drop kick roll. <laughs> that, that used to be a viable strategy back in the day. Oh, drones actually get that little extension. I think that's going to help just enough to make this work, but no. Oh, wasn't able to get one more extension. It's all right, though. We got, we got the Lariat reset. Oh, no. Didn't expect the light to hit there. That would have been a perfectly timed command throw setup otherwise. Don't you hate it when you have a sick setup and your opponent actually gets hit? Like, by the, by the move that they're supposed to block. It's right in front of you. Hard drive there, nice block on the Okay, forces the X Factor. That was a weird defensive situation. Demon Phoenix gets the better of it. Yeah, Demon Phoenix knew he could have been thrown right there in that situation. So the X Factor. Wow, that little shimmy in, shimmy out. Lockdown hold. I mean, hold obviously not a great X Factor character, gets no speed boost. He does get 2 million percentage damage boost, though. If he stares at you real hard, you die. He's getting his, his ass beat so bad, his eyes are closed. Yeah, his eyes are definitely <laughs> closed here. He's got his head down. He's beside himself. Found that first touch. They would find the jump S twice in a row. But again, misses his Gamma Wave. Oh, but he's going to catch out for both. How much damage can you do to Shuma here? And since, oh, since Virgil comes in, Shuma's timer on the assist is not going to go up. That's going to be a full juggle, a ton of damage, and this is going to be the last chance here for Demon Phoenix in this game. Killing Larry, it's a big deal in this comeback situation, though. And luckily, Ashley Schaefer has Sentinel in the back instead of Hulk in the back, so he's at least got some options when he comes in. Hulk has no options right here. The only option is to get hit. All right, forced to block the swords there. Oh, no. Okay, big drop. Doesn't matter, though. Ashley Schaefer not able to capitalize. And Demon Phoenix is going to get this easy kill. The Sentinel takes quadruple damage here on the Super. Yeah, a couple of instances of hesitation there from Ashley Schaefer on very strange, punishable situations. Obviously, situations that don't come up often. You know, when Sentinel gets hit by that Super, it reminds me of uh, Chris Tucker when he when he got hit in rush hour, and he's like, who, who kicked? Because <laughs> he's literally getting hit from every direction against Virgil. Okay. Oh, that's a hard DHC. Does not quite get the hit. How y'all not allow the word thought? Thought is an acceptable word. I feel like that's a part of the vocabulary here. There are way worse words. <laughs> Continue to get evasion there. Gets a, just a soul drain right in his face. Oh my god. 
Demon Phoenix is ride or die right now on the Morgan. Is committed to the gig. Yo, the invincibility from that super perfectly timed. Demon Phoenix really knows what he's doing right now. Oh, has no idea what he's doing right now. Ashley Schaefer catching him with the low nine frame lows. Can't react to that. Okay, sets up for Chip with the game. Quake and just anti airs at the standing heavy. Uh oh. Oh, speaking of thoughts, sucking the soul out of him right now. Shuma could do this. Ashley Schaefer does not have any X Factor left. Go past the hard drive there. Oh, and finds an air throw just out of nowhere. The slow, slow neutral. We're just backing away. We're so afraid. Chat GPT does not understand what he's looking at right now. Oh, finds it again. That another clean hit. Okay, into the lasers. It's gonna have to look for one more touch here. But Hagar, if he touches the ground, you know what's coming. He's gonna jump. Pipe. Oh, there's one. There's two. Oh, and there's the third time is the charm. Look, man, the strategy is not complicated. You do it until they get hit. It's that simple. You know, there was a time, um, there was a time when Knuckle Dude actually was trying to learn Marvel. So he came up and asked me, hey, can you teach me? And I was like, sure. He's like, and he asked me one question. He said, how do you hit people? Because you just jump up and pipe, and people get hit. I'm like, bro, it just works. Ashley Schaefer proving me right. Oh, oh, let's go. Crouch low, crouch light into the command throw. And has the drones for the midstream conversion. Didn't even need that one. Used it anyway. All right, all right. Ashley Schaefer on the verge of bringing this set back here from a 2-0 deficit. Back and off till he has the drones here. Don't want to give him too much space, though. You're going to give Demon Phoenix some opportunities here if you don't pressure out. I like a lot of these empty jumps that uh, Ashley Schaefer is doing. He doesn't want to be put in a position where he gets bodied like this, but he gets there anyway. Demon Phoenix patience here, paying off. Wasn't able to kill either character, though. That's a heartbreaker, but there's the reaction with the super. Oh, and we still have X Factor here, so this is guaranteed death. Ashley Schaefer, BMW, tying it up two to two. Captain Joe in the house, man, doing the work. So someone in chat was saying earlier that uh, Demon Phoenix was uh, originally a Nova player. Oh, here comes Nova. I mean, switching Nova into Hulk is a tough one. Obviously, we've talked about this a million times on stream, but this obviously is not a super fun matchup as the Nova player. Look, as a professional Marvel coach, and I say professional because one time somebody gave me a quarter to give me some advice, but uh, I don't recommend picking Nova into Hulk if you have Morgan in your repertoire. It, it doesn't make sense to me. That's like saying, I'm struggling against the Hawkeye matchup. I'm going to switch from Deadpool to Doom. Trying to find some mileage here. Dashes backwards. Let's go the round trip. Not going to get too much for it. Oh, no. And the big happy birthday here. Oh, but went for a TAC? Oh. Almost goes for two. There's a dash of throw, though. Demon Phoenix doesn't slow down for a second. 
Yeah, it's really hard to happy birthday Doom at times, though, when he's got the plasma beam out, because Dr. Doom, when he comes out as an assist, takes a step back, so you won't reach him with Gamma Charge before he can get the beam out, if you're hitting a character already. Oh, and the hard attack pays off. And he's going to catch Doom for this, unless Demon Phoenix does something about it. The Super Jump Drones only hits once. Oh, and having the mouth open, able to fly out of there, keep himself safe. Agar had no effect there. Came from the backside, still got body. Good amount of damage. Just going to back it off, though. Again, X-Factor time is still running down. Oh, no. <laughs> oh the classic mix. The one-hit block string into the Rapid Slash. Big whip on Violent Axe there, no punish. Trying to come down with the pipe, but nothing this time. Virgil has the range to step back and still attack. And KT Barra coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. 21 months with us. All right, yeah, keep putting that pipe on him. Forcing Virgil to block means that the hitbox of the swords, the round trip, is going to go away, but it doesn't matter. Eventually, Demon Phoenix catches him with the low... Looked like that might have been an attempt at a push block there. Otherwise, he was just looking for a drop kick in neutral, which I, res I respect. <laughs> Ashley Schaefer was doing a really good job coming back. And, you know, I doubted the Nova switch, and I was right because Nova got bodied. But, you know, Virgil was still on the team, so that's all that matters at the end of the day. Now, yeah, Shuffle's actually uh, my second favorite hero player after Spartan Throne, of course. It really confuses me when we keep putting England versus uh, Great uh, Britain flags on here. Union Jack on here uh, really does throw me off a little. Oh, and the big jump S trades out, though. Luckily for one-up Miles, still has a chance to play. Oh, oh, my goodness, the predictive positioning there. Able to neutral jump in that position and put the H out. Stop zero in his tracks. Super finish, has time to tag, absolutely. But we just heart straight away with the foot dive. I thought y'all had more manners over, over there than that. I don't know. That was a very uh that was a very New York thing to do. I guess whatever it is, zero players have no respect no matter the region. You know what it is? <laughs> They just hit you anyway. It's definitely one of those things. <laughs> Puts on the swords. Whips the command throw just to hang out for a bit. And with that washing machine, it's going to be able to set up just to look for Chip here. Oh, this is going to kill it does hit. But he gets almost nothing for it. Oh. Medium hooligan attempt, not going to work. Well, y'all really like gambling over there in the UK. My dude is just throwing them out there. Oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> Speaking of big gambles, what a huge level three from Shuffle. And is going to be able to get the kill from the drop kick. Here we go. One mix up and the pipe. Huge hit there. And that's going to be all he needs. Bruh, I love a good Hagar comeback. That's what we're talking about. Oh, my God. Just bets it all on the teleport there. So smart. I mean, you got 66% chance of being a genius there. As long as he doesn't age teleport. Man. Bruh, Shuffle's my new favorite Marvel player in Europe, bruh. I've never even heard of Spartan Throne before. I don't even think the Spartans were in England, bruh. So, you know, whatever. The fake fan. Fake fan. Blocks here, just gonna be able to wait out the Sogen move, smart stuff. Oh, okay. Try to close the gap. Drone's doing a really good job of being an intercept. 
Yeah, one up Miles though, huge advantage here from this neutral. Obviously, Hulk just can't keep up with zero on the neutral. He's gotta close the gap here. He's gonna be able to get some damage on. Oh no, Doom fell out. Had to bring in Sentinel, but Sentinel with no neutral assist of his own to use. He is the neutral assist. Yeah, and already struggling uh, as a big body against a character with such crazy multi-hitting moves here as Zero. And Pizza Cutter is a whole matchup itself for Sentinel, dude. I'm being told that uh, one of the players from the next match is already falling asleep. It is only 9 o'clock over there. Oh, here we go. Able to fix it. Doesn't get Zero. He goes for clap twice to stall in the air longer? He's a genius. My dude's too smart. I definitely got shuffled there. Oh, a nice intercept on the attempt of the Gamma Wave. All right, and we did it once. Can we do it again? Look, this time he does not have X Factor and 1UP Miles does. Oh my goodness, none of that matters when you can super jump backdrop. Oh my god, listen, he doesn't have the X-Factor in game, but he's got the X-Factor in his heart, Tong Lee. Right, that is the most violent of axes I've ever seen. Oh, and you mess up with the easy part. One up, Miles, able to take advantage there on the big mistake from Shuffle. Shuffle, though, definitely one of the most exciting players we've seen. Dude, nice conversion to be able to get the stop. I mean, Shuffle had some crazy momentum, but nice for Miles to be able to just stay solid in situations like that. It's easy to feel the pressure when you got Hagar coming down on you, man. Gamma Wave actually trading there kills a ton of Sogenmu time. That resource war, very important when you're playing in matchups like this. Trying to go for the air throw of his own. One up Miles is actually the one to come down with the ball. By the ball, I mean Hulk. <laughs> Did the hop and the command throw. Didn't seem like he had time for it, but still manages to find it somehow. Oh, and he knew the foot dive was coming this time, was so ready for it, but he misses his Gamma Wave. That confirm has been like, kind of eluding him all night. <laughs> and then the instant, the fuzzy off the drone gets the hit on Virgil. Oh, dude, so many things went right for Shuffle, but he just couldn't finish them. And one up Miles with a perfectly timed x factor knew exactly where the block stun was ending there. And it was no longer active. Able to take advantage, but no, wasn't aware of the Hagar Lariat assist. Oh, okay, okay. I like the sick mix up there. No conversion, though. Can't convert this either, but that might be over. Oh, it could have level three him. Oh, still can level three him. Okay, certainly going to be able to kill Sentinel if we can get the full confirm here. Looks like it might be enough. No, not quite. Yeah, had to kind of scale back on the hits there. Back air throw kind of kind of scales the hit stun a little bit too much. Oh, and baits out the hard tag there. If he was able to blow, oh no, and he dashes up into the lariat. I was going to say if he was able to blow, oh my God, the tea bags, we got the British tea. Oh my God, dude. Come on, shuffle. These are real tea bags, guys. Miles about to have his Jordan moment. It's time. Oh my God, I'm, I'm still shocked by the tea bags, bruh. Didn't even get no crumpets with it. I don't actually know what crumpets are. I was like, spell are. crumpets. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if that starts with a C or a K. <laughs> Nice tag. Oh! Jumping light. Confidence. Oh, and he finds the command throw! Up the top rope! Shuffle looking like he's ready to wrap this up already. Oh, 
This man cannot stop with the backdrops at Super Jump. Oh, and he's gonna snap. Oh, that might mix him up. No, he's able to come out alive there. Has to X Factor, didn't want to get punished. But now can just chill. Yeah, has Lariat. The AT gonna work out. Good block there from one up, Miles. Oh, Hagar took a ton of damage in there. Oh, and then he dies to the Doom Beam. That's tough. Yeah, I forgot. I mean, Hagar loses 100k health every time he comes out and does Lariat. That combined with the beam damage. Shuffle went from winning to losing real quick here, but he still has X Factor on his side. The cliff block and flight out. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to kill off of this, but it's going to do a lot of damage and set you up really well. I think it's going to do enough damage where it's going to be an insurmountable comeback. Oh, or not the reset? Now, oh, no. Maybe it wasn't a reset. Maybe it was just a drop. All right, we're going to see the X Factor here, and he baited that out. Doesn't matter, though. Wasn't able to convert off of it. One up, Miles taking advantage. Taking the kill and pushing this to a game five. Wow. Incredibly back and forth between the two here. Even the Zero Doom Virgil players are more exciting in Europe, man. <laughs> I just realized I ain't seen a single lightning loop. Y'all must have some good weather over there. They ain't got those. <laughs> Almost goes for two. Nice block from Miles. Good jump to get out of there. Great movement from one up Miles. Really being evasive here. Staying out of Shuffle's range. He doesn't want no CQC out of this one. Oh. He juggles the assist quite a bit. Dr. Doom is absolutely bleeding here. One up, Miles played that neutral as perfectly as he could. Won that off pure neutral too. Get 1.2 million damage with no combos is pretty hard. Okay. I like that patience there. Wait until you see the super jump, then you cross underneath. Very smart. Dude, nothing for it. That was looking dangerous. Oh, try to go for the no look there with the pipe. And we get medium hooligan under the drones. He was so close to him, too. He had so much time to react, but the fear of getting thrown is too much. Oh, but X Factors for another leg drop misses it. Shuffle kind of throwing this away here. He was so dominant for so long. One up Miles with his full team and X Factor on deck. This is looking real bad right now. Uh-oh. Oh, Larry, it actually trades. That was all bait. Oh, my goodness. Dash up, dash back. That's the real shuffle right there. Let's say it's in his name. Here we go. Still has X-Factor. Got to be careful. Yeah, one up Miles, though. Only has one meter right now, so can't just DAC out in the Virgil. Got to be careful, though. You know one up Miles is looking for the opportunity here. All right, now Virgil has to eat this incoming hoodlum long, I mean, I'm sorry, violent axe not working out for him. One of Miles being extra cautious there. Found a throw with swords on, how is that even possible? As time winds down here, both of these players kind of low on resources, or maybe not. Chooses not to spend the meter there. He might regret that. Or he might not. He might not. Yeah, I found a couple throws in a row. Time is ticking down. Um, time won't even matter here. One up, Miles is going to be able to take it. 
Dude, a couple amazing comebacks from Shuffle were not quite enough to keep him afloat there. Miles playing so good. Get this mission started. Live and let's die. All right. Well, you heard Chris. Mission begins here. Dabo goes rocking that Thor as he always does. Good interrupt for the crouching medium there. A little knife. How am I getting proxy the cousin? That's rude. That's the most forgettable family member. <laughs> Third cousin, twice removed. And unfortunately, not able to get the confirm on there. Arthur, short king, dodges everything. Oh. oh. Arthur out here just once removed. Blocking Malaria, but tries to swing as he lands, and Thor's button's not the best for contesting in those weird situations. Yeah, especially because Ben Kill had the advantage state. You know, when you're minus there, you got to learn to hold that. Got a lockdown fire. He said, kill it with fire. <laughs> oh my god, trying to burn it down. Can't kill fire with fire. Is it, is it fight fire with fire? Does that make any sense to you? Have you ever seen a fire? I don't know. This is some, this is some real fire force type stuff. Living legend in the chat cheering for Ben Kill here. Fellow Chris Redfield Akuma enjoyer. That's a cute extension there with the S. Tries to go for the reset here and lands and Lariats. That has been the tail of the tape tonight. <laughs> it's a nice mix up. I'm spinning. I'm convinced, bro. Europe got the best Hagars. All right, Ben Kill taking the lead here, one to zero over Doppelghost. I think Doppelghost getting a little drowsy now. Let's we'll see if this Thor can wake up and do some work, though. Thor is my favorite character that I cannot figure out how to play. He's so slow, but he looks fast. Does he? When other people play him, yeah. When I watch like a Doppelghost or like a uh, or like a, uh, I'm like on names. Yeah, they make him look quick. I don't get it. Like that. I don't know. I think it's in your head. That's true too. Oh, once again, Doppel goes trying to swing at a disadvantage state. He's got to remember that Hagar blocks done unless he push blocks. He's going to take him into the ground. And he's going to keep blocking there. Yo, Hakuna coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. Gifting a sub out here. They came through with his own sub too. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. Double sub. Take that kill on Christopher Redfield, though. Not going to be long for this world. I use the whole government name. Christopher? I was writing his eulogy. I <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Come on, man. No, nowhere does it say it's Christopher, bro. It could be short for Chris Xander. Oh, no. That kill kind of hesitant to pull the lariat there, knowing that Arthur is so short. Is Ben Kill wave dashing? Is he wave dash? I've lost all respect for Ben Kill. No respect for wave dashers. Learn to plank damage. That was a crazy confirm off of the weirdest firebrand assist. Oh my god, dude. You get so much damage for that. Missed out on the second Magnum though. Didn't have enough hits on the Molotov, but still gets the juggle and has some meter now. So maybe enough to kill, depending on how we can extend this. Unfortunately, couldn't get the lockdown there with the. Tried to go in with the flamethrower to go for the anti air. Instead, he's going to get traded out the TAC. Excuse me, the alpha counter. From Firebrand, putting him in the air, escaped from the Flame Grenade. That was super high-level tech. It feels like Doppelghost has like a, a scripted answer for everything. It's really impressive. Hey, experience matters in this game, man. 
And you need a lot of experience if you're going to play a team like Thor, Arthur, Firebrand, right? Ooh. Covers his own approach there with the fireballs. Is able to get the OTG with Firebrand into the reset. Watch the so X Factor there. Didn't want to lose Hagar right away. Oh my goodness, the alpha counter. So good from Doppelghost there. Oh my god, and then he talks to him. There we go. He's going to be able to X Factor and do pretty much whatever he wants here. Oh yeah, the slowest fall of all time. You got to love it. Player two wins. I'm so impressed with Doppelghost. And it just, it's more the more I watch him. You know, the crazy thing is, with the team that Doppelghost is playing, it never feels like he's winning. He's just winning. Like, is that a bait? I mean, it worked! I, 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 <laughs> these are very creative strategies here. Dude, he... I feel like I'm watching a TikTok. Dude, he is key charging in neutral. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, and try to go for a hoodlum launcher reset there. Doesn't matter. Gets a throw reset. Oh, and that one just barely tickles to her. I said no. Please stop flying around. Okay, he's able to get the interrupt. Going to get a lot of damage down on Chris. Hagar not going to take any of it, though. Oh, accidental back tech there. Oh, doesn't matter though. He's able to get the jump over with the Chris assist. Oh, I was gonna say it might be worth popping X there, but yeah, whatever it takes to make sure the kill comes through is gonna go for the X Factor late into the combo, but doesn't get the full confirm. Uh, no, went for the punch super. Arthur able to level three. He's gonna be able to kill Hagar. No, doesn't go for the kill. Actually, hard tags. He's just going to rain hell with these fireballs. Dash is underneath. So quick in X Factor. I was halfway expecting an Arthur. He probably has <laughs> one. He hit the TAC, and I was like, oh, I'm about to see something, huh? Apple goes moving on the winner's side, top eight here. Yeah, boy, Nightclub. Come on, man. All right, let's see how the friend, friender handles it, though. Not too well so far. Rolled underneath the projectile. Low profile for Morgan. Nullifies the mix-up completely. I feel like when you have a matchup like Captain America against Morgan, especially with Lock Trap in the mix, it can definitely be an interesting, interesting matchup. I thought it was going to see Charging Star Super Bowl. This server is in London, actually. So, European players definitely getting a better uh, situation here than the normal TNS. You get to see them in full strength. And any hiccups you might see is going to be from us uh, getting the feed from London and not them actually uh, losing anything. So. Technically not an EU server. No, the UK is not in, uh, in the EU. We won't get into that discussion today, <laughs> only because I know absolutely nothing about it. Lay down the trap. Gonna try and set up the meaty here. Lock it down. Oh. And is able to get the launcher. Completely avoids the missiles, but still is able to land. Go for the crouching lights, but it's too far from the corner. That are rockets just too small. Ghost, I can't even spell Brexit, bro. You wrote it down in the chat, and I still can't spell it. That doesn't even look like a real word. Evac, we made sure there are no Mundank invaders here today. Thank you very much, though, coming through. Good to see you, homie. You're telling me Spartan throwing a Mundank at the same person? I've never even seen them in the same country before, so I don't know. Okay, it's an overhead, though. That little tri-jump action gets the kill on Cap. Rocket to come in next. Oh, and he's going to fall to the exact same fate as his captain. Unless. Oh, 
Yeah, I mean, through the Mag Blast, which is cool, but he's standing on a trap. You couldn't hit him if you wanted to. Unlimited Stratos says uh, Cap is nerfed 50% when a non-American plays him. I disagree, because the best best captain players are actually from Mexico. Yep. That's the, the best Captain America players you're going to see down there. Shout out to Fruitsy. Ooh, that little in and out, dude. Doctor Doom versus Hawkeye with rocket assist? I wrapped this one up, to be honest. Even in backwards Europe land where we have Dooms beating the Hawkeyes every time, I think Log pushes over the edge. And even Catboy Friend are not able to overcome this matchup here. Get ready to brawl. Oh, trying to go up and get the air throw for himself. Morgan comes away with it and gets the Astral started. North and South America are still America? I guess. I guess. But you know what kind of American Captain America is from, all right? Come on now. You know what he is. You know what he's about. I mean, this captain's got the Puerto Rican flag, but still, that's part of the U.S. Gonna go for the grounded fireball pattern here against Rocket. Just wants to keep him off uh, off his toes. Don't let him set those traps up. Smart to lay the trap while you still have some meter. <laughs> Whole good amount of damage on Magneto, but couldn't get both, even though he made a couple great decisions in a row. Take a shot with Gimlet, very smart. Oh, Meister does end up losing Hawkeye to Doom Missiles. Raccoon against this whole team, not looking too good here. Yeah, especially not having the meter. I mean, a lot of his comeback factor is in how goofy he can get with the traps and stuff, right? Catboy doing a great job here. Evading just about everything for Meister in that round. That's going for the cross up there. It doesn't have the log trap really to worry about in that one. Oh, just dashes up for the low. Got to make sure you kill her, though. Oh, no, no kills here. Unfortunately, the big drop there definitely had enough resources to kill. On the huge charging star here is going to be able to get both, but has to block the missiles after the X Factor. Oh, oh. Just <laughs> We're just cartwheeling back and forth, bro. This is fucking middle school gymnastics class out here. Wow. Dude, Captain America, just the difference maker here. Gets the launcher afterwards, too. We're doing the extended stuff. Wow, Doom doesn't even have time to make a guess. He's just gonna get cooked. Oh, what? <laughs> he was really trying it, huh? Oh, man, I respect you trying to do it to him. <laughs> Yo, Wolf is great as coming through with the sub. Thank you so much for being with us for four months already. Oh, okay. There we go. Rocket's able to get the conversion here with the log. You gotta be careful when you're playing against Log Trap, man. This comes out of nowhere. You never really see Raccoon. He's a sneaky little guy, for sure. Dude, really just adding up this damage a little bit at a time, manages to get both. Such a feeble attempt. 
Oh, he's gonna live it though. He's gonna completely be able to get out of this one. And he's gonna get the answer because Magneto tries to press. Yeah, great X Factor there, getting the long full combo. Catboy front of the room still has the more Doom Shell. Still very dangerous with that X Factor on deck as well. Meister having a tough time finding the clean hit here. Oh, baited the X Factor. Yeah, forcing the X Factor there works out really well for Meister, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. What do I, what do I know about this game? All right, with the X Factor running out there and no meter for Catboy, I still looking in good shape. It might even be worth bringing out Hawkeye. Well, I guess we're going to have to bring out Hawkeye. Got three bars, though. A couple bad fireballs is going to be the death of Morgan here, or dashes just like that. Yeah, with two more gimlets left in the uh, in our chamber there, I mean, you can catch Morgan at any time. You just need one of them to hit. That full screen stretch, triple piercing, doesn't quite reach. Is going to go for the Shadow Servant just for a little bit of damage and to make sure he doesn't get hit by the Gimlet. Yeah, that way you avoid all of the chip there. Was able to get one more Gimlet out, though, and get huge chip. Catboy friend there going in. Was able to find the hit. One more. Missiles, though. Missiles, got to move. All right, Catboy friend there just needs one fan photon. There it is. Down to the wire, but Catboy Friend, they're able to push this to a game five. Dead body Morgan almost blocked him to take enough damage. That was terrifying. But we're going to get the clean hit here. Not going to be enough to kill Cap unless we can get an infinite started. That shelf kick hit from the other side, bro. Damn, and in the 11th hour, it's time for the Magneto infinite? Yeah, building up a ton of meter from Moradoon here. This is, the, this is the best kind of boring, you know what I mean? It gives me a chance to breathe, relax, go get a drink. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and fast forward another 10 seconds for me. And welcome back, YouTube. Appreciate you staying with us there. It is over. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gets a tag, almost gets punished. A little bit of a delay there. The dangerous part about ending the combo like that, though, is you did leave a very meter-hungry shell with plenty of meter to use here. That's the shockwave to push Rocket all the way across. Just down the Hawkeye here, but with the X Factor, still has a very strong chance. Magneto, though, definitely harder to catch than anybody else on Catboy's team. Yeah. Oh, great X Factor there from Catboy though to avoid the level three. Good call out, Foxy. How you know about how you know so much about this game? I know when you can mash supers. <laughs> That's all I do. He said, I mash supers too. <laughs> okay, three gimlets, almost four. Gonna take the shot here and interrupts, actually takes the meter. Hawkeye definitely doesn't believe in cloning there. Stop the cloning process. Oh, Magneto hard attack does not get punished. That would have been huge there. Oh, tries to take a shot. Does get the hit, but now no meters left over here. Catboy in an amazing spot. Gets Astral set up for free. Oh, no. Too many fireballs. Not enough arrows. Catboy able to clutch it out. Oh, my God, dude. Here we go here, the thing upstairs, going up against Ashley Schaefer, BMW. Don't let the flags confuse you, we're all from the same place. Oh, it doesn't even matter if you miss the game of charge loop. We got Hagar backing us up. It's that easy extension, the launcher into the TK Super, takes the kill, is gonna have to DHT though, didn't want to risk it on the last hit. Yeah, Taskmaster only, you know, has a lot of health actually. 1.1 mil, a little more than the average. Oh, 
Well, almost with a big punish there. Had the standing M, but wasn't able to connect the launcher. Oh, jumping light easily thrown from that position there. Yeah, you got to continue to block shit when you know the block stun is over there as a Hagar player. A lot of Hagar players don't push the next button after the block. Get thrown pretty easily. Double teleport there. Unfortunately, got the dark hole. Gets dunked into the ground twice in a row. Doesn't get the charge for the gamma wave, though. That's an X. Absolutely. That's a huge whiff punish. It's going to take a kill. One meter left over. Big cross up into the Kara command throw. I don't know if he knew that was going to whiff on Arthur or not, but either way, that's absolutely ridiculous. He's going to be able to super this as well. Bro, Captain Joe has all the answers. Absolutely unreal stuff in that whole ending sequence. Does it again? Yeah, holding down back for a little too long there. Doesn't get doesn't get the pickup after the throw. It doesn't matter though. Bashes up with the crouch light. Man, he wishes he had rocket punch assist. Oh my god. All the drones to get his extension here. Able to jump right over that super there. Arthur, VA season to the transformation. Oh, whips on the big jump H there. I think he was going for an air throw. It was real close to it. Okay, gonna have to go for the jump to be able to extend this, absolutely. A lot of characters that pushes him just too high in the middle of it. All right, able to finish it out with the chip out there against Hulk. Sentinel here struggling in this matchup with that big body. Oh, bringing in Hagar, I don't think this is any better, but the drones will make a difference. You got to be careful not to get blown up, though, and get happy birthday. Yeah, empowered daggers is such a hard assist to get around, especially when the character has a teleport to be able to be protective of him. Uh, try to predict some buttons there. Put out the lariat. Wasn't able to get anything out of it. No punish. Oh, gets the punish on the throw afterwards. That's going to be the clean, absolutely. Oh, but Arthur, so small, drops out there. Gives the thing upstairs one more chance. Oh, but that chance is, uh, that little yellow bar that's ticking down is making that chance look not as good. On oh, the clean jump over there, is going to be able to get the punish and the ground bounce thanks to the drones. Dude, when you're playing against a character who has like a really good OTG, you're just your life is on such a horrific timer there. Ready? Fight. Oh, another time where he was forced to get hit by Hagar there, trying to get shield skills out, trying to get anything out against this Hulk team. Taskmaster can definitely struggle in this matchup a little bit against the, the whole Kagar combo. Even without drones. Okay, that dash underneath was pretty cute to be able to get the uh, get him back into the corner. Tries to find the pipe. Oh, but the overextension gonna be easily punished from Dormammu, but picks the wrong pillar! Oh, has to X Factor level three right away. Is gonna be able to get enough of the kill with the extension here. Oh, super jumps for the cross up there with the fish hook. Oh, great super there. Almost gets the kill. Should be able to get the chip out. Sentinel with X Factor 3. Oh, held on to his X Factor in that situation. Not going to die for this, I don't think, though. Oh, and he misses the big rocket punch there. He needed that. Oh, no, and definitely thought it was going to be a cross up there. Just gets destroyed walking towards him. Dude, Max says Hulk does not have any good matchups. I disagree. Fight. 
Iron Fist is in this game, and Hulk has a good matchup against Iron Fist. Oh, and finally, that's like the first shield skill I've seen work <laughs> against Hulk there. Get that double dark hole to build a ton of meter up here. He's going to be able to DHC through to take the kill. Oh, maybe a little bit of hesitation there. That was Ashley Schaefer, BMW, to get back in control, gets the TAC as well. Oh no, he wanted that reset there, missed the, missed the lighter medium, whatever he was going to use. All right, to the max is actually really bad at this game, guys. So don't take any input from him. Um, he said that Hulk beats. He said Hulk doesn't beat Wolverine. I don't think it's as bad as the Wolverine players say it is, but he definitely still does win. Okay. As a person with a winning record against every Wolverine player to have ever existed, uh, and I don't even have drones like you guys, uh, Hope beats Wolverine, guys. You actually probably, shout out to Asian Demon, you probably have the most experience of any Hulk yeah, in I that mean, match. I can't think of a single Wolverine I haven't beaten. Okay, two meters. Two Max, you're better than me. I don't want to hear it. You just don't know the matchup. <laughs> oh. Noah, I... Noah only started beating me after he switched to Dormammu. He's going to have time for the X-Factor here. All right, let's go. You know this is my favorite stuff right here. Oh, almost got the uh, hit on the assist. Doesn't matter, though. Yeah, pick that straight back up. Two games now. Get it up to that game five. Oh, and gets the full extension there. With two balls built up, should be able to kill. And he does amazing stuff. Ashley Schaefer in control here. Dormammu. Yeah, thing upstairs has to watch out for that thing upstairs, bro. Coming down at him. Got the air throw, but the Lariat was already there. The set play comes through. It's going to build up the second meter also, but not enough to combo fully. All right, thing upstairs goes into level three here to get his neutral started. But this is a lot of neutral you got to play, man. Right, this is like this is like a neutral and standard transmission. You're not going nowhere. Hulk has got so much help. You have to close that gap on Hulk now. Oh, not able to get the bottle toss. DP, I think. No, no. couldn't get it. Yeah, he went for the armor there. Now with no X Fractor left, it's gonna be the longest battle of all time. It's going to be the shortest battle of all time. <laughs> I was going to say, definitely not going to get too much more for it. Ashley Schaefer is going to be the one to take it three to two. Dude, what a set. A game five banger. Is that why you won? Brandon still lost. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into this match. Spartan throne. <laughs> oh, man. And that first hit going for the snap. Oh, off the teleport is able to find the throw. Smart stuff. Bro, I've never seen a more aggressive throw in my life. Why did that look more aggressive than his normal ground throw? OTG plenty of meter. Sparty going to be able to take the kill here, killing out what he has deemed the most important piece of the puzzle here in Virgil. Yeah, Nova can be a rough one for Wolverine if he gets away, but that's a big if. Getting away from Wolverine is very difficult. Oh, 
Snap again wants to deal with both the Dark Anchors, but he's going to have to deal with this. What a great button placement there from Demon Phoenix, but not such a great combo, unfortunately. Or maybe it was all part of the plan. Oh, Legion and the DHC should be able to get the assist too. Yes, it's all of the Iron Fist. Oh, and that's going to oh, that's gonna hit both. Only able to keep it going on Nova, but that might be all he needs here to get started. Strider going to have to come out to this. Has double jump. Doesn't even get to use it. I don't know what side that hit on. I didn't even know he had that move. Was that one of the Rekkas? I don't know. We sure the setup is a modded. And bruh, that's EX Iron Fist right there. Yeah, that's a whole new spin on kicking somebody's ass. How you kick up? Got him with the red foreman. <laughs> oh my god. All right. He's gonna go for the snap. I mean, the game plan is clear here for Sparty, trying to neutralize both the anchors. I mean, Nova's a pretty strong anchor too, though. This whole, this whole team is anchors. Link's out of trouble. Let's get the punish on Iron Fist for a little bit of extra. Oh my god, and Dark Hole is just perfectly placed and perfectly spaced to get the punish on the tag there. I haven't seen a better use of Dark Hole as a neutral assist than I have from Spartan Throne. All these matches I've watched the last few years. So strong. Strider gonna die for his sins here. With the stalking flare too for the maximum mix up. <laughs> Crunching heavy. <laughs> oh man, the push block for Sparty turns into a knockdown here and he gets so much pressure off of it. Trying to hold on to the X Factor here. DHC's in the Chaotic Flame instead. Didn't even bother putting the flame down. He just knew this mix-up was gonna work. Wow, that is too straight here. Demon Phoenix might consider a character swap on this one. Yeah, I was gonna say, we have seen mostly Morgan today, which, I mean, like you said before, if you have Morgan in the repertoire, that is usually the thing you wanna go with. That's, that might be a pretty good team. Morgan, Doom, Virgil. I think I've seen it before. That is the, th uh, yeah, fun fact. This is the third team uh, that Demon Phoenix has played today. That last team that he played with Nova. Uh, looks like Morgan isn't making a difference. That was seven drill claws. Okay, he's going to make Sparty kill up front, though, because you cannot ignore her. He can't just let her go. Oh, standing medium, so fortunate how crazy the hitbox on that move is. Be able to get the air to air. Okay, sets himself up with swords. Should be able to kill on loops. And he does, very nice. Demon Phoenix on the board with this one. He just needed Morgan there for... for Moral support. Yeah. Okay. And he gets the X for the clean hit on Wolverine. Oh, so one big guess to rule them all, and Sparty is not going to be able to get the right one on that. Is that combo? No. He gets one more chance at it. I don't think Sparty was ready. He could have definitely capitalized on it a little bit better, but he's still going to get it here with the air throw. Big opportunity here for Spartan Throw on the comeback. Health is recovering nicely. Still got plenty of X Factor left. All this meter. Demon Phoenix better watch out. Oh, and the Helmbreaker gets chicken block. Easy punish for Spartan Throne. And Spartan Throne blocked that at the peak of the Helmbreaker there, knowing that that was the easiest way to punish. Great work from Spartan Tones Iron Fist there. Most exciting thing for sure to see it on a Sunday, but for now, 
A little more Marvel here on a Saturday. Continuing through our top eight winners side. One of Miles. Spark Throne said Marvel 3 is going to be the new melee, just uh, less smelly. I don't know if you've been to some of these Marvel tournaments, bro, but they smell equal. They're all bad. Gamers just get sweaty, bro. J Dog, absolutely not. Add Marvel no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to get that Sunday finals, bro. You say you don't want to stay an extra night? You think you're going to make top six? I believe in you. An iPad app? I would love to get uh, more ways to use it for sure. Yo, Iron Strider coming through with the sub. Thank you so much for the support. Apple Ghost had to switch into the Arthur, though who has so far been doing a much better job dealing with Zero here. This projectile game is working out pretty well, actually. Now he's going to chip him out. Oh, absolutely. Goes and jumps for the air-to-air. Trying -air. to Arthur beat Zero. I'm learning new things. Uh, you know, maybe that's why Zero players dominate so heavily in the U.S. We don't have enough Arthur players. Man, Mishas is like that. <laughs> He's out here doing it. Oh, gets a clean hit, though. Doom, on the other hand, not affected by the Arthur. Able to find that touch, too. Should be able to get the kill on Thor. Regardless of the giant health pool, X Factor Virgil. Gonna be more than enough to get it done. Oh, but the dive kick from Arthur back in control gets the armor set up. And it's going to be able to kill. Now, one up Miles is going to have to take a guess. He can't really whiff either because he can just level three and destroy you. Or just shoot him up from normal jump height. <laughs> he just throws every projectile in his arsenal to make that one work. That was so sick. Let's got shooters. And that mighty charge. Able to avoid the lightning with it for the most part. But again, this matchup has not been looking good here for Doppelgos. Arthur was really the one to do the heavy lifting last game. Mr. Quotes coming through with a subscription. Thank you very much. Three months. And again, Thor might just have to look for the DHC or the raw tag out here soon. He's starting to run out of life here. And he can take more abuse than most, but there's the alpha counter. Firebrand's movement wall is good. Can't have predictable routes. Oh, disadvantage. Still pushing buttons. You got to show some respect for Zero here. You may not like him, but you have to respect him. Yo, shots to Mr. Quote. Did you already shot that up? Sorry. I would think that. Uh, he gets two. He gets two. Yeah, shots to Mr. Quote <laughs> again for the sub. A kick, alpha counter, but he baits it out. He goes back. One of Miles says, I'm aware of your tricks, dog. That's going to be the super to get the kill, though. Rare footage of Thor being able to blow up zero. Yeah, he blocks everything out. Swords comes through. Not able to deal with the pressure. And Thor, at this point, I think we just ride or die. I mean, let Arthur be the anchor that he's designed to be in this situation here. Yeah, he even has to spend another bar to get it done. I think this is fine. Coming up with zero bars. Top goes block this out. You got an okay chance here. No, he X-Factors just to get hit, though. One up Miles. Ready with the buttons. It's crazy how much I believe in Doppelghost that it's Doom Virgil with X Factor, and I'm like, you know, Doppelghost is in this. Yeah, with Arthur, you know? 
I believe! <laughs> It's all right, though. It's not lost yet. It's just 1-1 one, one right now. We're just getting started. I'm mad that uh, Thor's projectile isn't eliminating Zero's projectile. What is this? And he low profiles it while he's throwing it. Oh, my God. You're finishing number 74. Are you watching him in order? That's what's up. Yo, I have a lot of respect for Liquidator right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get through this whole TNS series. My favorite, my favorite sitcom. Oh my goodness! Perfectly timed X Factor though with the sweep. Doppel goes back into driver's seat. The right side, of course. <laughs> You're so lame. <laughs> you love it. Oh my god! Goes for the dive through. Normally that crosses up. It looked like it didn't cross up in the corner that time. Please give me an infinite. Oh, he's trying to do something. <laughs> Heavy forward said, binge in TNS before it gets canceled by Netflix. Thank God we're not a Netflix show. <laughs> but I mean, if Netflix wants to put our content on, on there, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we broke. Please help. <laughs> oh my god, that teleport through. Gets the tag into Doom, and he takes the small step. Important note against little characters. Any hard tags like that with Doom, you have to take that extra step. Delaying these daggers as best he can, trying to take up as much real estate as the screen as possible. Like, how do you really get the approach here? Doom is able to play so safe in time. Starting to run out a little bit here. 22 seconds, oh, and there's a foot thug. Yeah. Not wasting any time here, getting rid of Arthur. Moving on to the next game, one up Miles with the lead. One up on Doppel. Ready? Fight. Okay, Mighty Charge actually completely deleting that fireball. So it's good to note for the future here as we get that air throw. Miles not able to convert off of it. Wall. We really have not seen a single lightning loop. Now they don't have lightning in here. All clear skies. A little bit of heat lightning though in, in neutral. The up, <laughs> up lightning to catch uh, Firebrand out of his attempt to dash. Oh, and the heart tag into Arthur works out. Yeah, weird to say, but Arthur is definitely consistently beating Zero. Yeah, he just has to be careful here in close quarters combat because we're going to see one up Miles use the Doom Beam really well and mix him up. Yeah, I mean, Doppel definitely doesn't have the same assist as one up Miles does in neutral when he has Arthur on point. That Thor assist looked kind of good, Joe. Dude, super high durability on the projectiles on the ground. Those going to chip out a little bit. Gets a little bit extra guaranteed block string. Can you imagine if he was playing Arthur with like a drones assist or maybe like a missiles or beam assist? That might actually work out because he's beating zero in the neutral here. Oh my god, so is Thor! And he points at him for dramatic effect. He could have spent that time setting up a meaty, but he pointed instead. He gained .001 meters. Said it was worth it. Nice block there, not giving up. Hands on the stick, always. All right, Doppel definitely in control of the neutral right now. Oh my goodness, he was positive there? 
Positive enough? He was positive it was going to work. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, that upwards fireball. Oh, and he just waits. <laughs> Out of the range of the sword. Great use of Firebrand. Dude, the flight, and he just watches him swing. <laughs> two to two. Dude, what a set. Ready? Fight. Okay. Down to the decider here for Winner's Bracket Lives. Nice interrupt there to stop the Virgil assist. And Thor already doing significantly better in the point matchup against Zero here than uh, in previous games, which is a really good sign. Now yeah, look, I don't want to be too biased here, but I am rooting for Thor. I don't think anybody blames me. <laughs> We finally got him. It's time. Wow, dark clouds appear over London. Oh, and the mix-ups are too strong there. Doombeam behind, zero in front. Not much you can do about that one. I don't know if Firebrand Anchor has what it takes to come up against this whole team. Ooh, God, his X-Factor. He can tag here, too, if he wants to, but instead he's going to look for the block string. Yeah, but he's not doing any chip here. One up Miles is X-Factor on his own. Oh, but goes in for the low. Now he can do some chip. X-Factor's run out. Oh, he's going to be able to land a super. Can he get... Oh, he can get enough. Oh, Doppel Ghost. Seemed like he was way behind there, but now he's actually in the lead. A huge mix-up mix opportunity here. Just going to back it off, though. Four meters for one-up miles. Yeah, he's definitely got a lot of resources to work with. Still has zero in the back. There we go. Going for the DHC there, playing the better matchup. Firebrand got hit. He might get comboed here from this DHC. Oh, and we go TAC back to Doom, but he drops to confirm. Twenty-seven seconds left on the clock. Honestly, the biggest issue here is the meter. So much still here for one-up miles. That bar is going to run out soon. Oh, but misses on the DP there. Not able to get the pickup, and now Zero's the one that's going to die to chip. I'm telling you, Doppel Ghost really keeps turning this around, no matter how down he seems. And Firebrand's movement makes him so impossibly difficult to catch here. Another matchup that's bad for Doom. Add that to the long list. This is longer than Jericho's list. Oh, Miles! Firebrand getting a little confused up there, but it's all right, though. Time is running out. One up, Miles, with the Remora tech. No, no, this is, uh, this is Shuffle versus Reach. No, it Reach. is. Okay, yeah. Reach actually was sent to losers earlier by a different Hulk, actually, after Ashley Shafe. Well, I'm sure he's not happy to see another one here, especially as a Nova player. I am happy to see Robbie the Rand coming through with the sub, though. 16 months. Thank you so much. I should be able to catch on and take the kill here. I would love to see a snap, though. No, it's just going to make it work. Going to be able to get the kill here. Mid-screen mix-up. Oh, just kind of stands there with Hagar in the way. No good, though. Doesn't, doesn't mix up Reach there. And Reach is going to be on this long path to recovery, trying to come back. Sentinel with hard drive as an option. He's not going to... Oh, he is going to do it. There it is. Oh, that's a good effort to get the punish, but Larry is always there. It's always got your back. 
Shuffle with his own X Factor makes this very easy for the kill. Big first game there from Shuffle. Bounce our DP so strong against Nova. I like the way Shuffle uses a lot of the dashes there. Obviously, Hulk does not have a traditional dash. Oh, my goodness. Holding that forward medium there. Didn't let it go for the second hit and reach. Finally reaching in there. Being the aggressor that he needs to be with Nova. You cannot waste any opportunities when you're playing Nova versus Hulk. You don't get a lot of chances. Finds the jab here. A much better matchup here in Sentinel. Goes for the super. I mean, the strategy is easy for Nova, right? All Nova has to do against Hulk is force Hulk to block the beam assist. Yes. And he can go in and do the high-low before, you know, Hulk can get armor out. But that's easier said than done, right? Oh, easier done than said. Get foot dive. And down to just the robot. X-Factor already popped. Complicates this a lot. Oh, <laughs> and it's just going to go straight in the blender. No, the pirate. The pirate, says he's <laughs> French. Doubt. Heavy doubt. All right, shuffle reach one to one here, but it's looking like it's going back in shuffle's favor. Yeah, Nova just absolutely deleted once again. If Hulk is able to, Hulk with drones just stifles him so much. Good defense from Reach there. Good patience too. You need a little bit of both for your play against Hulk. Cosmic Beam also a really great projectile because of how fast the multi-hit comes out, but Drones also a pretty good projectile. Yeah, that was actually the, the most perfect way you could have gotten in on Hulk there to punish the Gamma Charge, but he didn't account for the Drone. I didn't account for the Drone. I don't need it. They're cheap. Oh, he was committing to an armored button too. He's trying to go, or excuse me, I was crouching medium, so didn't actually have the armor. So that's an easy one for Virgil. Crouch trip not gonna get blocked. That's an easy lariat for an here, and he finds the crouching medium. Wow. Shuffle out here playing very explosively. <laughs> Nothing more explosive than Crouch Jab, though, from Nova, I guess. What an opener. Oh, drops his infinite, catches a Lariat for the trouble. And if that was intentional? Oh my god, Shuffle. Shuffle turning it on right now. That was like the sickest combo route. And he tends to tag! See, that's where, that's where having Rocket Punch would have paid off there. That's true. You ain't wrong. Yeah, yeah. Now you get human Rocket Punch. Oh, uh, losing Hulk, though. Oh, and the whiff Rocket Punch leads to a free throw for Reach here. For a reset attempt, forgot about Hagar. Shuffle able to be back in neutral here. Yeah, unfortunately, didn't want to go back on the comeback. Easily avoid the beam. Tries to jump up for the throw back hitbox of jab. A, you know, light work from a boy Nova. You know, you have to be careful as a Sentinel player, super jumping against a grounded opponent. Unless you've got a really in-depth game plan in mind, you're going to come down to a mix-up. You're just hurting yourself. Oh, my God, that is disgusting. <laughs> oh, he drops the... All right, that's like getting the sickest crossover on somebody and then missing the layup. You can't, you can't miss the layup. Oh, and forces the spin out of him, but it works out for Shuffle here. 
and we might be looking at a Hagar comeback. Plenty of X Factor just getting started. Standing H is all it takes. One more time. Reach with no X Factor here. Has to play this patiently. Oh. <laughs> Gets the body splash, but he's crowned. Level three. Oh, no, he can't. Yeah, but he, he could have lariated it on his, on his wake up. So many options there, but hindsight is 20 20. Oh, he's making me so nervous. I like the neutral jump pipe. There it is, the super jump pipe. Reset, get me out of here, bro. You guys can't speak math to me. I don't, I don't get that. I see it. Easy throw there from Ashley Schaefer. That's K Day, by the way, for the resubscription. Is that 19 months? I can't see. 19 months. Look at that. You are kind of good at math. I just I can read numbers. You can count all the way to 19. It's longer than any of your combos. Okay. Hey. play Nova. Try to go for the standing heavy. A lot of the times, Hulk players can get creative using their armor to tank one fireball uh, to try and make a big play. Oh, there we go. The crossover jump S. Here we go. This is standing heavy. Simple is best for the mix up here. And he waits. Yeah, he cared more about putting Magneto in his place than he did about getting a hit. You know, sometimes you just got to keep your opponent grounded there, but sometimes you just got to randomly gamma charge as soon as you get in front of them. Oh! Oh, that could have been a gamma wave super. That's another one of those, man. I wish I had rocket punch. Oh, and just roll up Lariat. It's a strain to heavy, <laughs> the, the heavy axe as well. I'm pretty sure Pipe is unblockable. I don't know. I do know, because it actually is unblockable. <laughs> Oh my god, and he gets the hooligan just because. It's a one time for the fans. Now oh, back and forth turned into a brawl between those two. Found that air throw and is able to get the conversion there with the Lariat. So should be able to kill Morgan. Most important thing always when you're playing a team like this that has trouble approaching her. Oh, and he gets the clap to stop the flyaway from Magneto. That's the Master of Magnetism going down here. It's going to be all up to Dr. Doom. Wow, what an air throw. A chance to turn this around here for Catboy. Oh, if he neutral techs, I think he maybe can wake up and get both. Oh, and he tags on the beam, so smart. Taking that one hit from the beam is the perfect place to tag. And he gets the conversion off the drones. This is huge. And the Hulks and the Hagars are really out here today. An ambitious DP. Doesn't quite work out. Does get a little bit of damage on Dr. Doom, but it's not enough as Catboy is able to find the first touch. Try to get closer off of the drones there to be able to get the actual Soul Drain combo going. Not going to make it work, though. Yeah, Ashley Sheriff from BMW doing a really good job at Hulk avoiding a lot of this Morgan offense here in Astral. Just jumping patiently, waiting his turn. Even though he's losing a lot of health to Chip, 
it's actually it's actually not a bad thing. It's pretty decent tagging too. Oh, that last little attack there didn't work out too well for him though. Now he's letting Morgan build up another meter. All right, if he can just wait this out here, he'll finally get a he'll finally get a chance to play after losing a million and a half health combined between Hulk and Hagar. That's the tag in the Sentinel, who also has kind of a rough time with this one. Right though. Now Morgan doesn't have any meter. It is a somewhat fair matchup. You get dangerously close though, building up another Astral there. I have a feeling Cat Boyfriender is definitely gonna pop that Astral as soon as he can. Or not. Oh, the X Factor to find the throw. Missiles are gonna interrupt, and he's able to get the full confirm off of it here. Not a kill though. Ash is safe for doing everything he can to keep his team together here. Body splash. Morgan still basically full health here. Launcher does no cam out of damage. Couldn't get anything for it though. 70 Marvel seconds have passed by, and not a character has died, but I spoke too soon. Morgan is on her way out. Super jump command throw from Hagar. Definitely got the job done. Going for the heavy hoodlum launcher. Protected by drones, though. We're good. What is this Marvel 2 Zangief stuff? Goes for the crossover with the violent axe as well. We went 70 seconds without losing a character and lost 2 and 10. Oh. <laughs> Finally able to get some offense going against Magneto as well. Get that pile driver. Ashley Schaefer, BMW. Get this man a Bugatti, bro. Take it. Here we go, though. Shuffle going up against Demon Phoenix here. Got that though in the corner. Oh, the drone was not quite there to be able to get the pickup. Oh, almost a happy birthday here. On the arrow, save Nova from impending doom. Hulk is just laying people out on the ground, man. Okay. He doesn't even want a combo. He's, he just wants to fight. <laughs> oh, and dashes in with the crouch light. Hulk moving around here like Wesker. Just trying over the brawl, looking for the launcher. Not going to work out here. Demon Phoenix finally getting some ground. Shout out to Fruity Fetus in the chat. The Marvel ambassador to the world. Ooh, missed out on the confirm. Percent in the force, buy some time, kill some X Factor, and he gets a roll tag. Has a slick throw to be able to go for. Had the opportunity for level four actually, but didn't want to go for it. Wasn't a maybe not sure if it was going to kill. Oh, and that's definitely going to hit some of Hawkeye. It's going to hit Virgil too. It's going to get a happy birthday, and it's going to be game over. In the blink of an eye, everything can change. That's how these Hulk games have been going very consistently, man. Nice block, good spacing too, but the crouching light. You gotta be brave for Mother sometimes with Nova in this matchup. <laughs> I see somebody in the chat talking about Buff Morgan, bro. Look, I love Marvel so damn much, but even I might have to quit if they buff Morgan. She needs a happy chaos roll. Leave some strive in here. <laughs> Got that extra extension here. One more loop should do it. Uh, avoids the unblockable setup there just barely. Doesn't matter though. Gets thrown. X Factor from Virgil is going to be able to take care of Sentinel easily. Yo, Snorax donating $10. Thank you so much. Appreciate you coming all the way over here from the YouTube. Oh my God, the Helmbreaker does beat Pipe. 
I hate to see it. Oh, try to throw the round trip though. The jumping light actually beat to clean. What's up? Looking for the pipe. Larry actually does hit Nova and he gets the heavy axe. But doesn't confirm. And every time you have to block that round trip there, it's a huge loss in this situation because it just kills so much of your X Factor time. At this point, it's already completely gone. Nova gets the follow up, but we don't even need anything else. That's going to even the setup. All these matches are starting to get real close now. I know we had a lot of throw three O's earlier, but this is very, very competitive. Shout out to Snorax once again for the kind words. Uh, we appreciate every single person that watches TNS. Oh, great counterpunch there. Knew the drones were going to be a little too high to actually make it work out. Laser. Double washing machine, plenty of bar. Misses the extension with Nova though, and he gets absolutely destroyed there with the jumping S. Okay, got the OTG, puts him into the wall with the forward heavy. Burning fully here on the Sentinel. He is gonna get the kill on the DHC, very nice. Dude, and with the X Factor, Hulk go down as well. Demon Phoenix looking for one more touch. Oh, and just catches his feet. Shuffle things getting a little out of control for him here. That's going to be the kill. No other meter required. Straight back to it. Shuffle with the jumping light on the way down. Tries to go for that quick overhead. Be able to find too much else for it. Standing heavy, also not going to quite work out. Nice blocks, goes for the super. Oh, yeah, dude, this time he can't block the hard to blockable. The patience of a monk to block it all out, but there's the hooligan, but he jumps forward instead of neutral. Oh no, dude. Oh, dude, in the presence of mind to go for the Lariat, it doesn't quite work out. There's been a series of unfortunate events here for Shuffle, it feels like. And Demon Phoenix continues to come out on top, but now he's got a chance. Getting Hulk in, definitely the better choice, too. Oh, air throw. Okay, I don't think he killed off of this. Even with an optimal combo. We're going to look for a reset, probably, or a TAC. Back himself off a little bit. Standing light, forward heavy, the touchdown. Oh, it's Sentinel gonna get yoked up as well. How much bar can you build off of this? Might be able to build enough to go for the level three. Give the extension. No, it's just gonna look for the TAC and is gonna be able to find it here. 
And the Ant-Man boot, I feel like, is the most damage from anything in the game. Right. There's nothing makes me more sad than losing a Hulk Flare in the bracket. But Demon Phoenix played this really well. Can't can't even fault him. Well, we're going to get the answer to our question here soon. Ashton Schaefer, though, honestly, Captain Joe has been uh, pretty ridiculously aggressive in a lot of these scenarios. He's been putting people kind of off their guard. I think people are ready for what he's been ready to put down. No matter how ambitious your choices are, catching zero with Hulk is a, is a task. Slobsters, if you wave that, you actually can't qualify for the uh, free Evo trip. <laughs> There's a prerequisite you have to plink 10 times in a row. Yeah, we have to make sure <laughs> that you're going to represent us well. <laughs> no! Spartan Throne, I don't even know what that means. I'm going to get back to that. Oh, the double jump light almost was able to connect it, not a hit stun. Oh no, did we lose the, okay, okay. It was just a quick interruption there. Shout out to caster.io. A hiccup, we'll call it. Oh no. It's all right, it's not, it's not interfering with the players. We feed the, we feed the server through an OBS, which also feeds back into us. Like through we, a, we, a third-party website, so. We refreshed it, which did a little bit of a, a little time skip, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean, one piece at a time skip, and it was fine. Oh, he actually gets both! Oh, couldn't get there to convert it, though. Yes, does get the trade. Larry comes through. Any chip will do it now. Oh, maybe not any chip. Okay, super jump. We yep. have yet to see an infinite completed, I believe. That's gonna finish on hold, though. That's as good as an infinite. He's dead. That's true. It serves the same purpose. All is well that ends well. Oh, no. Don't let me down. Captain Joe, please. Oh, dude, let's go. Body splash wrecks everybody along the way. Ashley Schaefer, BMW. Yes, yep. as soon as you see the chip out, you can just let it rip. Also goes by Captain Joe. That's why I call him Captain Joe. It's just easier to say. Also, I don't know the show that this references. I think it's a British show. Oh, my God. Speaking of shows, that's a beat down. Oh, turn that beat, turn that beat around. All right. Maybe just see a level three to make sure you get both. Keep it as simple as possible. He's gonna go for the level one, even simpler. Uh, my hopes of getting a Hulk player from the UK going up in smoke right now. Good though, stall some time, fill things out. Oh, Homebreaker! <laughs> you, you can expect it just to get Homebreaker, please. Wow, another crazy finish there to even it up this time for Miles. Oh, I'm gonna need somebody to ban Psychic from chat. Thank you. Talk about you can't spell Hulk without U or K. <laughs> oh. There we go. Got the convert with the Gamma Wave here. Zero already dead. Doom soon to follow. It looks like there's the high-low game. Not what you'd expect from Hulk, but simple and effective. Oh, I like it. I like it. Heavy in the gamut charge. Didn't want any of those Helmbreaker shenanigans. We'll call that a parry. <laughs> Basically, right? It functions that way. And he exits, you know, just for the fans. I like to see the red glow. It's my favorite color. 
That's all good, sir. You family over here, baby. All right, Ashley Schaefer, BMW. Just needs one more game here. One up, Miles. Not going to make it easy for him, though. How far can you push it? Looks like just far enough here. Got to complete these loops. So important to kill Hulk. Nice. Delay there, trying to throw a crouch medium to catch something in the movement. One of Miles, not too worried about it here. Oh. <laughs> okay, he I saved the meter. Lightning loser for chumps. I'm frugal. Resetting out here. It's not an American reset if it's not in America, all right? I think we still can. I think we still play Millie. Do we? Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, that delay was kind of hot. Okay, and he gets the TAC again. Do it again. There we go, spending all three bars in X Factor 1, and it still may not be enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Oh, let's go. One more leg drop. This is going to kill. Oh, he said, I got a better pipe, bro. Let me show you how down H really works around here. Still alive, though. Oh, but he just just launcher. Raw launcher wins the day. We're out of X Factor, though. We need at least two hits on Doom. Oh, he's in the perfect position here. No, but he shouldn't have thrown. He delayed it too much and gets thrown on his own. He would have fell just in time. Oh. Gotta believe. He was too smart for his own good. All right, going down to the wire here. Game five. Can we get a Hulk in the top four? Is one up miles too strong? I like that dash backwards there. Doesn't want to play with Larry at 99 seconds. Yeah, can't take any risks here in game five. You don't want to give it all away. Almost gave it all away. Oh my goodness, the jump H. But the big drop, unfortunate. Zero is gonna take advantage here. One up Miles, looking like it might be his game. All right. Oh, Lightning Luke, you know he means business. Oh, and he gets the tag out. Crucial. Oh, it's not looking too good for our Hagar hero here. Yeah, might just get closed out here into the loops. All this meter, nowhere to spend it. Sentinel might be all on his own. It looks like he is going to be able to have to do it on his own. See, one of Miles had these loops the whole time. He's just holding back on us. Oh, and that could be it here. X Factor, maybe? No. We're going to save it. We probably don't even need it. There we go. Save it for the end here. I don't foresee any drops while in X Factor. One up, Miles is going to be able to push on the top four. Sanrio stuff. If it's Sanrio, it's automatically worth a couple bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hard callouts to start off the match there. Sparty, a little too, a little too ahead of the game, though, is going to be able to jump over it. It's a snap. And we're going to deal with Arthur here as the first piece of, uh, piece of the puzzle. Doesn't want to deal with this guy. And watching everybody else's matches against Doppelghost, I wouldn't want to deal with Arthur either. I think that'd be my snap too.
It's crazy to see a winner's finals where none of the six characters are top tier. I mean, obviously, Wolverine, Dormammu, you know, good characters, but uh, it's crazy to not see anybody top tier. No Magneto, no Zero, no Virgil, no Morgan. Not that there's anything wrong with playing top tiers. I always say, you know, Sanford Kelly, pick a top tier. Of course. Whoa, a little too fast for his own good. Yeah, definitely Dorm is the best character on this board right now. I don't know, Firebrand making him look weak though. Good snap to Iron Fist there, getting all that red health away from him. And try to neutralize that assist. Dorm's mix up game gets a little nerfed when he's out of the way. Oh, misses the X Factor conversion though afterwards. Oh, still got the connection. And oh, he with a little bag. A little tea bag there. Getting them little Firebrand nuts in the bag. We can get demonetized for Firebrand nuts. I, can I say Firebrand nuts on stream? <laughs> I'm saying it. But can I keep saying it? <laughs> First game to Sparty. You Man. can't bag and lose. Doppelgoser looking real good here. We're going for it again. Spartan throw, and he thought he outsmarted him, but no, Doppelgoser, rock, paper, scissors, champion of the world. Doesn't matter, though. Gets happy birthday. I was going to say, he, he rock, paper, scissors, flips the table. Oh, huge drop from Spartan throw, though. Not getting either one. We're going to get the command throw anyway, though. X Factor from both? Okay. Oh, and he's going to come away with the hit on both of the characters here. Definitely going to kill Dorm. He's going to kill both here, I think. Oh, what kind of combo do we have, though? Something sick, I'm sure. Doppel goes with all the architect in the world. This is the, this is the sack tap of the, you know, of the Europe region. Wolverine all by his lonesome here. Not much he can do. And even if he wasn't locked down by the bottle there, doesn't really have anything to do to get Arthur off the OTG. He has a free pop. Yeah, he gets like 50k damage, and that's it. Oh, so X-Factor pops, and you get hit with both. A ton of life off the characters here. Yo, Doppel goes giving it all away like a free OnlyFans account. My God. Oh, okay. He said not everything for free. <laughs> he said this one's pay-per-view. <laughs> Team Super. I see someone ask, does Tong really own a Boba Shop? Yes. Uh, I've owned a Boba Shop for five years. And before that, I owned a video game store for 10 years. That's how I got an FTC video game store. I'll type in the address in the chat. That should be enough to kill here. Has them both. The fire comes through, and they're both gone. Absolutely roasted. And Doppelghost, one away. Oh, Spartan don't wash? Nice push block. Oh, standing heavy had to have been a mistake there, and he couldn't get a cancel either, it looked like. Yeah, and Dark Hole is able to hit both characters here. Spartan Throne really pushing it. Oh, he's going to X-Pack and try to get all of Thor as well. Yo, okay, that's the first time I've seen a DAC like that. <laughs> Trying to find that dive kick. Armor actually makes him go underneath. Looks for the DP. Is going to get a ton of damage on Iron Fist. Actually going to kill him. Oh, but gets dive kick there in the recovery. Oh, oh, and this has been significantly quicker than some of our other sets. All the way down to a game five now. Yeah, this is uh, definitely what they call a slobber knocker, but in a good way. Oh, what a block there against the hard tag. 
Oh, trying to throw the flame bottle too. Gets the counter hit dive kick and off the stagger. Gets a full confirm. Losing Arthur here is big. Definitely going to be a hard to block situation here. We're able to block though. Launches both and keeps Iron Fist in even after trading hits. No, Iron Fist does drop out. That would have been a great opportunity for Doppel to tie it back up there. Two characters, two, but Spark Throne able to keep on through his X Factor and his whole team. Oh, nice trade out there. Sparty still having his X Factor here is huge. Forced the hard tag there. Wolverine getting chipped away a little at a time. Oh, tried to set up the unblockable there. A little too early with it. Oh, but that one hits both sides. You got to be careful. Oh, Kidnap actually gets him all the way across. Even though it doesn't hit, he closes the distance. Yeah, it's skated right past the pillar there. Oh, he thought he had Dark Hole to convert, did not. Chaotic Flame still keeps him safe, though. Oh, and I think that one was unblockable there. Charged it up all the way. But Spartan Throne having no X Pack and about to lose Dormammu here. Double Girl's actually in pretty good position to tie this up. Gets his team back into a better order, too. Oh, missed times the incoming. I know, I've seen that mix before. All right, with the back throw here, Spartan Throne able to convert easy with the Iron Fist assist. He's not going to be able to kill, though. Oh, snap, definitely the right call here. And now with three bars, should be able to kill on the touch. Oh, who's going to die first, though? Wolverine there, get clipped by the overhead. Dude, game five of Grand Finals, Iron Fist versus Thor? The winter Finals. Still counts. Same thing. This is going to be better than Grand Finals. Unless both of these guys are in it. And it's going to be it's going to be equally good. Nice. I'm going to stop. <laughs> here we go. The neutral here. Oh, uh, he just launches! Raw launcher punish. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Gets another one. Oh, my God. Double goes. <laughs> Doppelgos able to make it into grands here on the winner's side. Spartan Throne's going to have to fight out in the losers if he wants one more shot. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see you, Doppelgos. Yeah, this works out. <laughs> one of the weird things about the Zero matchup as Nova is it's hard to throw Pulse because level 3 Buster just kind of ignores it. Yeah, it does kind of go through, like you just said there. <laughs> Oh, but I mean, Nova obviously got the got the grippers. <laughs> he grabs them from so far away. He got the stickers on his hands, you know. Clifford Franklin, only one going. <laughs> I'm about to say, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Totally Fury asks, "What's my prediction for Evo Top Six? Man, I, I tell you what, I I couldn't even begin. There's so many good players nowadays. So many players equally matched. I think it's really going to depend a lot on bracket, yeah, bracket luck. There's 25 to 30 people who would be like, yeah, that makes sense yeah. to see him in top six. <laughs> like, obviously, there's all the OGs. You know, KBR is going to be going to Evo as well. You already know Chris G is going to be out there. There's going to be so many OGs. Flocker has been back on his grind as well. But there's so many new players, too. OK. The wall jump tries to go for the helm breaker. Sends up swords again, but that's room for a super jump from one up miles. Does get away for a minute. Chips. I don't know if the top six is going to be all OG players. Ryan OB is going to be back in the game, though, I'm sure. I'm sure he wouldn't mind a nice 10 grand paycheck out of that 25k prize pool, so. Oh my god, dude, the round trip, able to connect. One of Mouse drops his combo, though. 
Carter. Exactly. Just like you said, if, uh, if Marvel 3 is the top four most entered games, it will be on Sunday finals. And we want to see it on that big boy stage, you know? I mean, Spartan Throne might be in, uh, in top six, you know? Spartan Throne, definitely one of the best players out there. But, I mean, maybe Doppel Ghost is a little better. You know? Oh my god, so far looking like Demon Phoenix a little better here. Able to get that X Factor 3 comeback. Gets the Sogenmu active. That is one thing that Nova is exceptional at, is stalling in the air to, to beat out transformations like that. The raw Sogenmu without having him locked down, he's gonna jump up, he's gonna throw a shield, he's gonna ignore all of it. I'm gonna do a new donation drive so that I can just give people ten dollars to sign up for Marvel. <laughs> That'd be a good one, actually. Make sure everybody gets the good word. Okay, if we have to rig it financially, we will. Oh my goodness, genius level super there. Great, great adjustment. Oh, gets a connection on zero. Easy kill, mix up time. Just backs it off. Yeah, other other new age players that uh that could definitely make it up there. Obviously, people like uh, DXP, Liberal Terminator. These guys have been playing crazy. I mean, Monday has been playing since the game came out, so I don't want to call him new age player, but definitely he's more known now than he was before. Monday could definitely do it. Some more OGs that could do it. Ray Ray, obviously, Coach Steve is out there. I think like Escalante is like in the middle between, you know, OG and new player. He's been playing for a while, but a lot of people know more about him now. Escalante could do it too. Duel Kevin said he's back on the grind, so we might see him out there. Oh my God. The mix-ups are ridiculous. <laughs> Double cross under from Miles. Steinert, is LT old enough to have 25K in his bank account? I mean, if Justin Bieber can have 25 mil, I don't see why he can't have 25K. <laughs> okay. Little evasion of the rapid slash there. All I know is no matter who's in the top six, I hope they let me give out the medals. <laughs> that would be so sick. Oh my god, and Strider just catches him out of the movement here. It's gonna be tough to kill though. Oh, I forgot. No, he has Virgil. It's not tough to kill. Oh, we got Sword Loose, baby. Oh, maybe it is. Ooh, did the wrong dimensional cover chip there too, but this time he's able to whiff punish with it. That may be the secret boss after Grand Finals. I'll go 0 2 in the bracket and beat the champion, bro. That's how it goes. Hit him with the Ghost of Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Never know. Remora could win Evo. Remora, I mean, technically he won Evo last year. He's been winning a lot of tournaments lately. Got the air throw is able to go straight in for the OTG. X should make it over, especially with that amount of red health that's going to come off on the incoming. Now, I've said a lot of players, though, but I'm going to put my money on one person. That's going to be Monday. Monday is going to win Evo, bro. I can see it. I, I'll guarantee he's in top six. I'll bet any amount he's in top six. Oh, had the hit, had the kill. Oh, zero was dead to right. He absolutely beats that clean. Now, shout out to Fetus for putting that in the chat. Yeah, we do have the donations going. For those of you watching right now live on Twitch, and those of you that will be watching on YouTube, we do have the donations going. They'll be in the comment section below for YouTube as well. And the donations are going to help get one of the European players to EVO. And then we're going to get two U.S. players to EVO from the online tournaments as well. And then we're going to get a salty suite for, uh, for everyone as well. So it's going to be dope. 
of course, anybody with like the biggest donations for the, uh, you know, for, towards the Salty Suite or towards the European stuff or any of that stuff is going to get entry into the Salty Suite. It's obviously going to be limited capacity. There's going to be like 500 people trying to get in. Oh my god. One up Miles, though. Pushing his way forward. Going to go up against Spartan Throne in Losers Finals. Progressing the top three here. The mid coming through. Said 19, 18 months, we ball. Good to see you, homie. All right, so Sparty doing a good job so far, closing the gap without taking too much damage here. And gets a snap, an anti-air snap to get Virgil in. Oh, and with the reset here, is able to save the meter two bars and gets the dash underneath. Spartan Throne, looking like he's going to take the first game, playing no games here. Dominant dive kick as soon as Zero comes in. Wow, absolutely obliterated there. After, gets an anti-air snap and just everything snowballs from there. Uh, Spartan Throne really just ran him over like an 18 year old man. Even the Iron Fist is actually getting punished on Doom as well. Dark Hole stops the Virgil Rapid Slash, and he gets the counter hit. How many times do you see Zero not push buttons? They don't know how. Right. Spartan Throne is doing mental damage to this man right now. Still a little bit of stalking flare left over. Not a lot, just enough. Oh, and the air throw. Not gonna see an X here because we want to go for the snap. Drops the combo, still gets the tech chase. Beats a super clean, gets the crouching light. Sparty can do no wrong right now. I mean, except for drop combos. Oh, but the drill claw stops the Virgil super and then able to switch sides, get a combo. My dude can't even block, he's not even blocking beams. He said, I'm going above, I'm going below. This man is a dodgeball champion. Oh, he got Swiss cheese there. If that was intentional for an anti-air, he is a mad scientist. But one up miles, great evasion. I think he was just trying to mash out of there, trying to dash out of there. One up miles showing signs of life here. All right. Oh, no, completely misses. He forgot. Standing H in the level three actually does not work against Dormammu. You have to use standing medium. That's not going to go all the way, is it? No, but just to make sure the Iron Fist is safe and he gets the air to air. Yeah, a lot of people don't, you know, a lot of people forget. There's a couple characters out there that standing H in the level three will not work on with Doom, as Doom. There we go. Pops the X Factor right away. So we're not playing around here. He needs to save his uh, save his energy for the next match. He said. Nice block. Able to completely dash backwards, nullify everything. Gets into the sweet spot though. Can still press, and the S beats the swords. Not able to get a button down on him. Now Iron Fist is eating a ton of damage. Wolverine hasn't gotten free space here, room to breathe in quite a while. But as soon as he does, he jumps up in the air, snatches Virgil out the sky. Dude, and this DHC threw does so much. And he's another super after that too. Great X to dash out of the corner there. Staying aggressive and active. Oh, Spartan Throne almost lost it all there. And that, oh, there it is, the foot dive. 
And one up Miles back in a position to win it. A little early with the mix up. Smart Drunk could definitely see that coming. Oh, gets him on the box jump though. This time we go standing medium. There it is. Yeah, That's yeah. what you need. Yeah, I mean, the standing H does work on Iron Fist, but we're not taking chances like that anymore. This is definitely looking like an SDP right now. Ooh. What a block from Sparty, but you can't block oh, forever. Yes, solo doom. For those of you that don't know what SDP is, it's a meme that started two years ago here when uh, Monday kept losing the solo doom. Oh, dude, SDP in full effect, two to one. One up, Miles showing signs of life here, putting himself on the board. Trying to claw this back. You know he wants to win it too. At this point, I don't even know if he's worried about, you know, when you're playing in a situation like this, you're not thinking about Evo. You're not thinking about, you know, winning a trip or a sponsorship or anything like that. You're thinking about your pride, man. You want to win. Oh, oh maybe he doesn't want to win bad enough. I say maybe Sparty's will is just too great. Spartan Throne doesn't even have Will anymore. He has Will Young. You know, like this this dude is too much right now. He wants to win more than anybody. Wow. So many layers on that. Yeah. Oh. One of Miles said, get me out of here, bro. Dude, the layers just end up being a little too much. All right. Grand Finals. Doppel up on the winner's side. He only has to win one. Spartan has to win two sets. But <laughs> here's a good start. Dude, Thor, Arthur coming from winners. Let me just talk about it. There's the snap. Oh, and that delay catches him on the fake push block. And don't let the countries fool you guys. They're, they're, they're playing from the same place, I think. I actually don't know where Doppel goes to playing from. Oh my god, he's playing from planet Earth. Put him into it. Genius. Yeah, we just put the flags of whatever they requested. Oh, that's a very nice confirm. They're going to make sure Thor goes down. Have a little tiny bit of X-Factor left over for, uh, for Arthur coming in as well. Yeah, some people prefer the England flag. Some people prefer Union Jack. Whatever you like. We're not here to tell you what to represent. What? Oh, my God. This Arthur. What? <laughs> Doppel Ghost is playing for heaven, bro. Not for England, but for heaven. This dude is God right now. There's the DHC, dude. The Roaring Dragon takes the kill all down to Arthur. Oh, and that's going to do it. Dude, the way Sparty structures his offense to leave these little gaps, but no, the drop. Gonna catch Iron Fist, do about half health there. Massive amounts of damage. Nothing against Wolverine, though. Oh, and Spartan thrown perfectly spaced in time. He knew exactly what to do. He didn't even stress it. He says, as soon as I finish blocking this, you're going to die. I, uh, From talking to Sacktap, he has said that there's no way to be perfectly safe on the pop, but the best way is the, the golden projectile that goes up and then forward. That is the safest possible option, but a lot of characters can still get there. I saw somebody block bottle toss earlier and couldn't even couldn't even make it halfway to the screen. Mm. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff there, but obviously easier said than done. Yeah. Just like playing this game. Five more wins for Spartan Throne. Doppel Ghost just needs to hang on, but it's really difficult right now. X Factor against Arthur. Yeah, working on a perfect here. Oh my God, Thor gets put to the wall. Oh, and a three meter on deck here. It might be enough. Definitely enough here. A perfect in game two for Spartan Throne. All right. See if we can run a three straight. Can Doppel Ghost get put some, put some games on the board here? 
How did Wolverine get to that side? Doesn't matter. Every side is a bad side when you're playing against four, he said. Oh, just dash up launch? That's how we feel? Oh, nice launcher to punish the Iron Fist there, too. Oh, just brings down the Randy Savage. Manages to catch both. Oh, that might be enough to kill both. It is. Just Dormammu left now. Able to charge himself back up to one meter. Nothing builds up morale like talking that shit. This pillar, more of an annoyance than a big uh, threat of damage here against Thor. Oh, but there's the air to air. That's gonna be able to set up for big damage. Should be able to build up just enough, but doesn't get the flame carpet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dormammu jumped back in the air. Spartan Girl was afraid. Doppel Ghost knew exactly how that interaction, interaction would go. Still not enough to kill, though. Spartan Girl with one more chance here. Okay. Yeah, with that X-Pack, that's more than enough. Two more to go. It's a lot to ask for, though. Oh, needs a couple more hits here. Arthur has a big opportunity to chip anything. Wow, it just puts the lance right in his head. That was the Wind Waker Ganon finish. <laughs> Good God. Oh, he baits the assist. He gets both. Okay. Oh, standing light into standing heavy, a block string you never see from Thor. Oh! My goodness. It looks like the roles are reversed here between Doppelghost and Spartan Throne. Doppelghost the one putting all the pressure on. Oh, I said that. Spartan Throne with the X Factor. You need it if you want to kill. Oh. Try, try to double jump out of there. Wolverine not having it. Well, we're not having these combos either. Spartan thrown. We might lose Iron Fist here. Came and tell. Came to see the life bars here. Does a lot of damage. He gets to hit on Wolverine, but it's not enough. Oh my goodness! We are comboing all the way. Almost. It doesn't matter though. Look at look at how small the health bar is remaining on Dormammu's side. Oh my God! The clean movement with the double try jump. Wow. Exceptional from both players back and forth. They're just one upping each other at every single turn. And then the pop just for insult to injury. Dude, three touch game. Only needs to hit each character one time here. So winnable for Firebrand. Yeah, if he can get out of this corner though, those pillars are oppressive. Oh, but that should be enough to kill actually. With that chaotic flame, we're looking at a reset. Dude, Spartan Throne set himself back up. Doppelghost looked way better in those last two games, though. I'm thinking this last set might be uh, might be kind of insane here. Yeah, Sparty treating Doppelghost like that reject Spartan from 300, bro. Just kicking him off the cliff. No changes from either side here. Everybody playing their main stuff. Right back into the action. We don't need a breather. Oh my god. Party tried to save his assist there. Gets a cross up dive kick. It hits too high. No combo. He's mashing, crouching light to low profile the mighty charge now. These adjustments are so sick. Oh, not enough adjustments though to avoid that. The X Factor. He needs all the damage he can get out here. Okay, got himself charged up on spells as well. Cross up connects with the Iron Fist. 
And he just kills him with a super. Wow, and having the level three, having all of your charges intact. That's gonna be another game on the board for Sparty. One to zero now in the first in the second set, excuse me. Yeah, Doppel's definitely gotta be hurting dying with that X Factor on deck. Didn't even get to use it. Doppel goes on the defensive, jumps up back, gets thrown for it. Expect to see a snap, I think, here. Has been snapping in uh, the uh, Arthur, excuse me. A little optimization with the jump loop there. And he's able to take this combo all the way to a finish. Has a full stalking flares worth for a meaty. Oh, you just gotta push light enough times. Hit him low. Dude gets to kill again. One character left. Level three X Factor Firebrand might have to be the one. It gets the throw. He's in there. Okay, my dude's got all the tech here. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a comedy of a combo, but it doesn't quite work out. I was about to say, man, Apology Man gonna say sorry after that one. I don't think I've ever seen that confirmed before. <laughs> Two games, Spartan Throne just needs to get one more down the tube. Oh, and that is not a great way to start here with the Firebrand out first. He's going to get immediately hit. Back in control a little bit, though. TAC is broken. He kills him with a broken TAC. Dude, this all just went so sideways here. Sparty, one more guess. Doppelgos, last chance here. X Factor wasting away. Okay, not gonna be able to kill off this without a TAC. Oh, went for the reset there. Didn't work out for him quite. Oh, he read the jump forward there too. Wasn't able to get anything for it. I'm gonna need one more reset here. Do we have the damage off of this? Oh, that might be all she wrote there, and it is. Spartan Throne takes the reset three to zero and wins the first TNS UK of this series. Wow, incredible stuff from Sparty to be able to fight back after Doppel had a, a crazy clutch set for against him and winners. Yeah, this is ridiculous action today. <laughs> right, this is some of the best Marvel I've seen in so long. Thank you to everybody that entered today.